All right, thanks very much. We welcome you to Williamsport, Pennsylvania in the Little League Baseball World Series on ESPN, presented by T-Mobile on a fun day for this sport across the world. The MLB Little League Classic is tonight, and the Orioles came to town first. They're playing the Red Sox just across the way, about five miles from the site of the Little League World Series. And then the Red Sox arrived, and uh, we chatted with Jason Veritek earlier. They haven't gotten too far since they got off the plane. Take the bus over, and there's Little Leaguers everywhere, ready for both these teams. And you hang out baseball players of all ages and teams from around the world, 20 of them at the Little League World Series. So Jorge Mateo in the swagon. Our best piece of property here at ESPN. And then Xander Bogarts arrives. Raphael Devers, some of the biggest stars on this Red Sox team. Brian Brazier wearing the cap of his home state, Texas. And then the O's headed down the hill, knocking off their teammates. Alex Cora, oh, a little bit of a false start. All right, so you got to reload it. Hop on the ESPN rocket ship and get some help from the homeland. Alex Cora from Puerto Rico. This is the team from Guaynabo, Puerto Rico, going for a ride with a World Series winning manager. And uh, yeah, it's that kind of day as we lead into our third game of four here at the Little League World Series today before that big league game later tonight. How about Adley Rutschman hanging out with Japan who plays in an elimination game against Nicaragua coming up right now at Volunteer Stadium. With that, we say hello. Sebastian Salazar down on the field, Mike Monaco here in the booth, and Todd Frazier, kind enough to join us. Todd, uh, welcome to the booth. You're, of course, a, a Little League World Series champion, a, a Major League All-Star, and good to have you here. Thank you, man. we got a great game coming up here. Exciting. Both these teams coming in today, understanding it's Elimination Sunday. Let's see what we got in store. And it's a fun day, too, in terms of the big leaguers as well. We just chatted with Jason Veritek for, for five, ten minutes up here. And hearing you two talk about uh, some memories here and then how it helped you down the road. Yeah, it puts everything in perspective. This is where we started, playing in front of thousands of people, and then we ended playing in front of thousands of people. So it helped me out, helped him out. He got the World Series when he was in major leagues. I got it when I was here. So a little clash there, but all in good fun. <laughs> You were here in 98, of course, uh, being a champion, and we know the history of this event, and when you talk about that, Japan as a country, so much success here. Yeah, they have, they have. They come in here every year knowing that they have an opportunity to win the whole thing. Unfortunately, they lost the first game, but nobody is ever counting out Japan. You know, they're the smallest team here in the, in the, in the World Series, but at the same time, they got big hearts, and they come to play every single day of the week. From Takarazuka, Japan, let's meet the team. です。国見沢です。好きなプロ野球選手は菊地良介選手です。柳野優です。好きな野球選手は大谷翔平選手です。鈴木香奈です。好きなプロ野球選手は柳田裕貴選手です。お互いです。好きな選手は村上宗隆
16 at the end of the day yesterday. Four elimination games today as Takimoto sprays one to right center field and legs for two. Sarabia's throw does not get him. Jin Takimoto starts this game with a leadoff double. Yeah, not wasting any time there. Finding the fastball, driving it the other way. As we've seen in this Little League World Series, guys are throwing hard. Right-handed batter, find a way. Takimoto getting Japan started, especially after their first game. They got to get kick started here, and he did just that. Not waiting around, to your point. And a pretty good effort by the center fielder for Nicaragua, Johan Sarabia. Great look by our crew of how close it was at second. So Takimoto's on in front of the shortstop for Japan. Kaito Ota. He took over on the mound in the sixth inning Friday against Canada. And he's at short here to start this one. Yeah, here's a situation early in the game. I feel like they're trying to get the guy over. Try and figure out a way to get that first run in for Japan. Driven in the air, center field. And Sarabia lines it up. Takimoto tags and hello. That's a strong arm, man. You can see a guy like that in right field. Beautiful play by him. Both ways you go back as a Takimoto. You're, you're taught to tag at second base, but if you can't make it there, find a way to get back there. No harm done. Great piece of hitting there, just not far enough. Got behind the ball as you teach as you're young. And a heck of a throw there from center field. Johan Sarabia closed out the game the other day for Nicaragua. 3-1 win over Puerto Rico yesterday. He thought after the game he was going to be the starting pitcher today. He's not at the outset of this one, but he's still showing off the bazooka in center. Yeah, got to find one way or another. Help the team out. When you're on defense, don't worry about anything else. You see how the outfield is. They're playing really deep right now. The blooper here is definitely going to score one. Yo, Ayabe, the batter, and he grounds it to third at Eric Gonzalez, who gets the out. Nicely done by Jin Takimoto, moving up 60 feet to third. I know you can see Gonzalez there. He's a little frustrated, but that's out number two. As a third baseman, you're taught to get the out, make the nice play. He did have a play at second base, but hey, listen, when the runner Takimoto's out well, that good, he could trick you a little bit. Get the out. You live to see another day. Now you got two outs. Battle time. Fast pace start to this one here in the top of the first inning and in the first nine pitches of this game. It's the cleanup man and the first baseman for Japan, Sosuke Tomimoto. And it's quickly nothing in two. Actually, I love this pace right now. Both crowds are into it. You can hear them yelling and screaming. This is the exciting part about elimination. You don't know what will happen. Grounded foul by Tomimoto. You're right. I mean, there is a buzz in this place already. You got the big leaguers watching. You're fighting to extend your summer here in Williamsport. Bouncing ball up the first baseline. Alonso picks it up fair and slaps the tag on Tommy Moto. The inning is over, and we are off and running here at the Little League World Series on a fun day of baseball. The Little League World Series on ESPN is presented by T-Mobile. Get coverage beyond the expected. Stream in the air and abroad on us so you can stay in the game. Special day for this sport in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. The Little League Classic tonight, the Red Sox and the Orioles. And Red Sox All-Star Xander Bogarts, who's with us now, hanging out with the youngsters among the 20 teams at the Little League World Series. And uh, Xander, what do we think of the pick there from so, back in Aruba? Oh, yeah, look at that, huh? Skinny <laughs> Xander. Uh, yeah, great memories, man. That's, uh, that's a lot of fun. I still remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah. Well, what's it like being here? I mean, I, I got to imagine this is a place you wanted to come to when you were I 12. wanted so bad. I wanted to come here so bad. Uh, I had two chances, uh, me and my brother. Uh, didn't make it. We got one time to the semifinals, the second time to the finals. Both times against Curacao, they kicked us out. Both times they, they were the ones that came out champ and they came here. So it's very fun for me to be able to be here, honestly. Uh, as I said, it just took a different path for me to come here. 
uh, very unexpected, but definitely very happy because I don't know how else I would have made it here. Have you um, talked to any of the kids when you got here and uh, talked to them, see their experience? I talked to a lot of the kids so far. We were talking to some of the Canada kids. Uh, and Nick Pavetta is pitching today. He's from Canada. So that makes it pretty exciting for them. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the Curacao kids, man. Uh, I know they, they played today. They won 1-0. One to, one to yeah. Heck of a ball game. Yeah, it was, it was a good ball game. We were watching on the plane, but then the signal kind of went, so we left it like that. But I'm looking forward to seeing them for sure. Hey, yeah, just what's the day like today? What, you guys wake up in Baltimore, you play a game there last night, and then you yeah. make your way here, and, and you got to gear up for a game tonight, too. Yeah, but I, th I mean, obviously we're going to be a little tired, but I think just the experience and all, uh, just, I mean, for me, I'm, I'm just speaking about me, yeah. you know, uh, just, just being able to be here. As I said, I always wanted to be here as a kid. So I probably wouldn't be playing on this field. This is the international field, you know, <laughs> so. Well, they do. They go back and forth, but. I can see you out here with your squad doing damage like you did there in the Senior uh, League World Series. Uh, we had a squad, too, for the Senior League, but we lost. But uh, the one thing that you can take is a lot of memories, you know, a lot of friendships that you create. Uh, I mean, that's stuff that sticks with you forever. What year is this for you now in the Major League? In the Majors, uh, this might be my ninth year. Wow. Something like that. Yeah. You're almost close to that tenure, right? I know. Yeah, that's a big one, right? <laughs> you know, you know. You got, the, you got the lifetime card now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now you got the World Series. So, I mean. You, you got a couple things, so yeah, it's, it's been a fun-filled career for you so far, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm blessed, you know. No and, doubt. Uh, I'm just trying to stay healthy on the field every year that I go out there and, 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 and try to compete. You know, obviously, we, we've been having a kind of an up-and-down season this year. Uh, but I felt like we're playing much better lately. So we'll see what happens t towards the end. Okay. Xander, you were talking about uh, the, the Senior League World Series. So you're 16 at the time. And for the, the fans out there that don't know the story, Ooh, can you tell wow. us? Wow. <laughs> That's Japan. On a line, sound. Jin Takimoto, the pitcher. Fundamentally sound, that's Japan. The, that's the second one we've seen today in two games. Man. This one was great. Break gets it a, down for us. Gets yeah. a big old slider, gets on top of it. I would have probably jumping. You know, I don't want no part of that ball. <laughs> <laughs> you would have easily had that one. <laughs> Japan is fundamentally sound. They've always, always been fundamentally Always, sound. man, always. That was Johan Saravia, the batter against Jin Takimoto, the Japanese starting pitcher. And Ooh. Gabriel Gutierrez. That looks like me. That's a swing I, I take. <laughs> no, that's a swing that I take. <laughs> You've seen that numerous times. Yeah, but I've seen you do the same thing and hit it out. You know? <laughs> that's true. And you'll that's be like, Fraze, what do you yeah. do? How do you do that? I round the base and he's just looking at me like this. Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, the same swing. The same swing like that. And it goes out. It's like, what? <laughs> Those metal bats taught me find a way to hit the. the Good part of the, the barrel. barrel. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. So, Xander, we're, we're starting to say Senior League World Series, you're playing in Maine. You go from there to Fenway and, and you sign with the Red Sox. Yeah, uh, it was kind of it was kind of already planned. Yep. Uh, the Red Sox gave me and my brother a chance to to go to the World Series yep. play and then right away just drive up to Boston. I think it was like a three, four hour drive. So I had my family with me, uh, mom, sister, uncle. We had a lot of a lot of people and me. Nice hit. It's a rocket into right and, uh, by Luis Garcia to the wall. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's a really nice one. Yeah, and me and my brother, we drove up there. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's how it happened. Went to Fenway, saw a couple baseball games. Uh, so it's pretty exciting for, for us, the experience for us. Have you gone down the hill yet today? No, I saw some of the guys did. We were, we were, sit, we were in the stands talking to, to, to the guys from Canada. We were really into it because uh, they were talking about how good this squad was and stuff like that. And we were actually watching the game yesterday against Japan. Yeah. Uh, they played Japan, the one that they win 6-0. Yep. We were in Baltimore watching that game in the clubhouse. Uh, Nick Pivetta is from Japan, he's pitching today, so it's going to be great for the kids. Yeah, Pivetta, no doubt. The guy who's had a great season for you guys. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be fun for those kids to watch. They'll be bragging. I'll tell them Kurosawa got them. You know? If Kurosawa play him, I'm going for Kurosawa, man. They got him. They got him. What you don't understand, every year when this comes on, this is probably on 95% of the clubhouses everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you know, if your squad, your state's in it, you know, they're talking smack back and forth, yeah. you know, that kind of stuff. But it's a beautiful thing here, man. The it's beautiful, man. It's phenomenal. I mean, the ballpark, seeing it now in person, like, I mean, it's even much greener than, than you would see on TV. You know, on TV, it looks great, but in person, man, it's like, I just wish I had the chance, you know. <laughs> I, I, I still came, you know, it took a while. It, it took 20, 29 years, but I'm here. Ooh. This is ripped into center by Derek Alonso, Ooh. and it's off the wall. Garcia scores from second, and Nicaragua nice strikes first. <laughs> the celebrations have been awesome. Too I, thought, I, I thought it was going out initially, 
Y'all have, have a great view here, man, from on top. Y'all have a great view. Look at that swing. Inside the ball, extension. I thought it was a ball. Almost made the play, too. Yeah. Japan, man. They're sound defensively. You see, you see these guys, these young guys, how their swing is developed. Like when I played, it was just gripping and ripping. These yeah. guys are the form, <laughs> the way they throw, it's suave. I mean, tranquilo all the time. At they this, just don't stop. At, at this, this age, level. man, when I was this young, it's like just see the ball, hit the ball. You know, <laughs> just it. like you said. And now they they break everything down. They use a little analytics here and there. <laughs> Next thing you know, boom. Yep. Marlon Chavez, the catcher for Nicaragua. That's now here in the bottom of the first. It's an elimination game. Xander Bogart's kind enough to join us. And, uh, it's a little surprising that you would see Japan with, uh, with a loss this early yeah. on. We were talking to the kids from Canada, and they were like, this is the first time Japan lost a game in the first round in like 60 years. Yeah. That's what it's one of the kids the, said. It's only the second time that Japan's first game here at the Little League World Series. They lost. They lost. Yeah, that's what the guys were saying. I was like, oh, I didn't know that. You know, <laughs> I know they're really good, but that's, that's really good. Yeah. You can never count out Japan. Yeah. When I was in '98, we ended up playing Japan. We actually beat them. Yeah, I saw you on the on one of the replays. Okay. I remember. You, I, I have watched a couple highlights. Kid. Yeah, I, I, I've watched. I, see, I, I, still need that I watched. Yeah, it was crazy. Xander, do you have a few more minutes to stick around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. We'll be back top of the second after this. Xander will break down some more swings. We need the swing. I need Chris. I don't know where they are, man. Back at Williamsport at the Little League World Series. The big leaguers here, Red Sox, Orioles. Hirokazu Sawamura Look at trying right to fly incognito without the jerseys. <laughs> the as soon as I came up, I was just watching, you know, and then I, I looked down, I, <laughs> I see someone. <laughs> <laughs> I see someone looking like him. I'm like, hey, is that him? Oh, man. Supporting his country. That's nice. So this team from Japan, Takarazuka, Hirokazu went to high school an hour away from me. So he's hanging out and watching Team Japan. That's where it hits home, you know? It, it feels like it's home. That's why he's here watching, you know? And he's definitely pulling for his boys. They got they, they, they got some work to do, but you can never count Japan out. You can't. You can't. Todd Frazier, Mike Monaco hanging out with the Red Sox oh. All-Stars, Andrew Bogarts. And you can swing it. See how you got excited. Anything goes hey. up is like it's going to go out. <laughs> there are swings. You, I almost jumped out of my seat, too. So it's kind of getting used to this this look and everything view, else. It's, yeah, a, it's a great view, but you can see he needs to get into it over there. He, they're, they're cheering. He's not getting excited. Young yeah, they, he, let's see. Look at it again. It's good that they have the nets up, though, because there's a lot of kids in the fan. Like it, at least it protects them on the foul ball. Yeah, we saw that comeback. I mean, to the mound, too. Like the exit. Oh, so foul ball comes here. You can probably call. Oh, yeah, yeah, there was one. Uh, Carl Ravage made the catch last. Oh, yeah, I saw it. It was on ESPN top 10. <laughs> The 10th ten, the play. They just put it on while we're in there. He used two hands, though. You got to go up with the one hand. I'm going to talk to him later about that one. Takto Suchia is the batter here, the catcher. Oh, where the over is going? Probably had to anyone field. came here already to talk? From the Orioles? No, we have, uh, they went up to the other field. They so went to the other. We had Baratak up here talking. Yeah. Here. Oh, yes. Jason, Jason, Jason. And so he played here in 19. Yes, 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 he did. That just misses. He, he went to a lot of World Series. He did. Yeah, like college <laughs> yeah. World Series, and uh, I forgot another one. They were yeah, saying. Little League World Series, College World Series, and, and obviously Major, Major League World Series. Yeah. One of three baseball players in the world who's done it. Oh, really? Yeah. Who else? Who's the other two? Ed Vosberg and Michael Conforto. Oh, oh yeah, Michael. Conforto. Yeah. Wow. He, he didn't get a World Series yet. He's got to. He's got to win one. Yeah, he didn't win, but he won. But if yeah. you play, and Kevin Cash was really close, but he just wasn't on the World Series rosters for the Rays or for the Yankees and the Red Sox. Yeah. So it's it's elite company. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't make it. Man, you you've done your research yes. on just about everything. I though. missed out. It was. Uh, I cried so much. <laughs> so you get knocked out by Kurosawa, and Last it's a team that has Jonathan yeah. Scope. And Jerickson Profar, and if you had won that game, you would have been here. So the first year, the first year I actually played for Aruba, we went to the semifinals. The, the tournament was in Aruba. Mm -hmm. So if it's in that home, the city, yeah. that, that country, you're allowed to go with two teams. Okay. So we had two Aruba. We were the better Aruba because we were Aruba one. The other one was was two. But in the semis, we, we went against Curacao. I mean, that squad, and they, they, they beat us. I think I pitched that game. I pitched bad. And... Uh, <laughs> And, uh, and we lost, so then they went in the finals against the other Aruba, and then they beat him. I mean, coming into the tournament, like, just hearing Profar and, and Skog, like, 
I played with, against them since they were nine years old. So I, we kind of knew who they were. And um, they came here, they, they won us. And then the next year again, I had another chance, went to the finals, and no, uh, we lost. Hey, before we let you go, what are you looking forward to about playing tonight in, in front of a stadium where those those youngsters, these players, they're going to be sitting like right up against the rim uh, watching it? I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, yeah, but I'm enjoying this. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I really am because, as I said, I as a kid growing up, this was this was your dream, you know. You, before you want to play in the, in the major leagues, you want to come to the Little League World Series, you know, and I was this close, you know, so hopefully we go out there and have a good game today for the kids to see. Uh, give them a lot of a lot of fun, a lot of a lot of positive vibes and, uh, and hopefully they can enjoy it because as I said, when you when you're a kid at this age, you, you can make so many memories, you know, it's important winning, you know, losing. It's really important at this age, but I think just just the experience, it's, I mean, you, you can't put it, you can't make that up, you know, just creating friends from around the, the world, other cities and other, other countries, it's, it's, it's unbelievable to be able to do that. And it puts everything in perspective now. I, when, when I played here in 2019, sat back like, ah, oh, we got a month and a half left, and it's like, ah, oh, it's a drag, but then you see these kids play, it's oh, like, this you, is why we play, I'm and you can hear it in your voice, the excitement. I'm so. telling you, man, it's, it's, it's different. I, and, and I was really looking forward. Yes. In the offseason, uh, I remember this game was scheduled, so uh, I, w I was really looking forward to, to coming here and just, just seeing it for the first time and experiencing it. Well, we'll let you go enjoy it. Thank Sandra, you. Thank you so I much, I appreciate man. it. Good thank seeing you, man. I'll work for you. Right. <laughs> thank you, guys. A lot of fun having Xander Bogarts with us here. Little League Classic luck, tonight. Man. Stay Red healthy. Sox, go get them. Thanks, Xander. A really nice intersection here in Williamsport between the big leaguers and the little leaguers. It doesn't get any better than this. We know the grown-ups are feeling a lot like kids today. That one is gone. That's what the Little Leaguers wanted to see. I mean, Top Frazier, I couldn't have said it better than you did, that you could hear it in Xander Bogart's voice, talking about how neat this is. He's going to be playing there tonight, but he didn't really want to talk about that. More just this experience right now watching the Little Leaguers. Yeah, you can feel it once you walk in here. I mean, you don't, like, I, I played here, I get it. But when you walk in here a first timer, I mean, what is better than this? You're on the bottom of a hill, you're watching these young kids from all over the world play, and you see the excitement in fans and, and everybody else. There is absolutely nothing better than this. We were talking between innings with Xander about how one of the players on the team he kept mentioning, Curacao, had a player who this morning told our guy Sebastian Salazar down here roaming the ballpark that that he really wanted to meet Sander Bogarts today. And we told Bogey that, and he was like, oh, yeah, I heard him say that earlier today. And I signed with his, I think it was uncle, at the same time in the Red Sox organization. So he played with a player here's uncle, and uh, hopefully they get a chance to link up. He wanted to go see Curacao. Everything comes full circle here at the Little League World Series. There's honestly the friendships. You remember a guy, hell, my second uncle played here. You always have somebody. Like you're from Jersey, where I'm from. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Uncle Tony down there down the street. Yeah, I know him from somebody. So there's always a connection here. The first time you come here, you see how it goes. Well, we got an elimination game going between Japan and Nicaragua, who has a 1 0 lead on Japan, the team from Takarazuka, against the Nicaraguan team from Managua. Jin Takimoto, the Japanese starting pitcher, starts with strike one to Eric Gonzalez. That's some pretty good action while Xander was up here as well. So, some bullets, a couple balls he thought were going to leave Volunteer Stadium. As Gonzalez grounds out to Sosuke Tomimoto. I think that's one thing that when you come to this event and you watch it from this vantage point, or if you're broadcasting remotely, like you've done before. The game happens so fast, like the speed of this game, the smaller field, all that. Without a doubt, it's like, if it's a major league game, we got 30 seconds in between, and you gotta be on the ball here, be ready to go. And that's what makes the Little League so much fun. These kids wanna go, get out there, get ready to go. Show to the world, which are on the world stage right now, what they're all about. Imagine the nerves too, knowing that someone like a Bogarts or a Devers or a Mullins or a Mountcastle's watching you. Oh my goodness. I know I would have been nervous for sure. 
I didn't even have a chance to tell Jason Varentek this. He was the first autograph I ever got <laughs> growing up outside of Boston. Love that. Yeah, he might not have appreciated here that that, that was the first. It's all good. They enjoy. I know me. I enjoy the stories back in the back in the day. I'm saying, but no, I enjoy those little stories. Diego Gonzalez, the batter. One ball and two strikes. You can, see, you can see the outfield now. Uh, Ichi in center field, man. He's way back there just in case. A strikeout for Jin Takimoto. He is set down four in a row and works a one, two, three, bottom of the second. Nicaragua leads Japan one nothing here in Williamsburg. Welcome back to the Little League Baseball World Series on ESPN, presented by T-Mobile. Well, no one wants to see this ever at any level of baseball. The tarp is coming on the field. That's tough. Uh, this is why Kyle Peterson, he was up here the other day. He thinks he has a meteorology degree. We broke down the radar. We didn't have a green screen, but so here's what we got. We got concentric circles, right? 20 miles, 10 miles, 8 miles. If we're inside of 10 or 8 with the lightning, we're in trouble. But but this is a whole lot of precipitation, right? Yeah, they're preparing here. So this is a this is a good sign. Get the tarp down. Make sure the field's still good and playable once it does come, and then we'll resume some action. Having worked five years in minor league baseball, anytime you go into the clubhouse when there's weather imminent, it's like players see you and they want to know what the weather says now did you get out there and put the tarp on no nah, oh yeah oh yeah, all right, yeah because they're looking for all hands on oh, deck yeah, yeah. so tarp pulls baby yes so the tarp pull here we go into a delay hirakazu sawamura hanging out well coming up we will get you to athletes unlimited softball and when this game resumes you can flip on over to espn we'll have more of a good one already in progress between Japan and Nicaragua. Big day in Williamsport, the MLB Little League Classic, the Little League World Series. Struck him out. Canada is 2-0. To the wall, it goes! This is him, back to back for Mexico. Driven to left, and it is gone. Hicks over the wall. That's a three-run home run. And oh, what a great catch in center field. It's gone. We are tied. Deep in the air. Grand slam. Gabriel De Gracia. Welcome to the Little League Baseball World Series on ESPN, presented by T-Mobile. Not even the weather can stop us from week two at the Little League World Series. We start with breakfast at the ballpark. We've got six games today, beginning with a game that started yesterday and is in the third inning, an elimination game between Takarazuka, Japan, and Managua, Nicaragua, who's got a 1-0 lead. With that, we say hello. And thanks for joining us. Todd Frazier, Mike Monaco with you. Sebastian Salazar joins us in a moment. And Todd, before we dig into this day, uh, yesterday was special for big leaguers and little leaguers alike. The Red Sox and Orioles were in town and really cool seeing the little leaguers and the major leaguers interact. Yeah, it puts everything in perspective. Guys coming out to the field, seeing the young men and women and, uh, you know, everybody's laughing, everybody's smiling. It's baseball at the end of the day. Get a couple autographs there. Meet your favorite athlete, favorite player. Why not go down the hill, have some fun, and uh, enjoy this wonderful game of baseball? Yeah, Alex Cora, he had a, a false start going down the hill, but then he, he got back in the, the ESPN rocket ship, and he was ready to go. Adley Rutschman said he was going autograph for autograph. He would give one. He would get one from a little leaguer. And now we've got a good game here today as well, already in progress, like we said, between Japan and Nicaragua, who jumped down to a one nothing lead. Yeah, they got on them early. It's one of those things. They can hit. They can pitch, but they can also hit. The young men coming through today, finding a way to get that early run on the board. 
and focusing on, you know what? It's elimination day. We got to win the game. So we got to get that first run. Beautiful swing there right over the head of the man in center field. Driving in that first run, letting them know we're here to play. And then the rain came, but at the end of the day, they're going to work hard to get that win. Yeah, Luis Garcia scored. He had doubled. Derek Alonso drove him in. We told you six games today, an hour from now on ESPN. Pennsylvania plays New York. That starts eight straight hours over on ESPN of the Little League World Series. Oh, the stakes are laid out. If one of these teams wins, my son will shave his head. That appears to be all 20 teams that are here at the Little League World Series as we get ready for Japan and Nicaragua. It would be like father like son. So uh, a guy who knows a little bit about shaved heads. Let's go down to Sebastian Salazar. <laughs> Thank you very much Mike. Yeah I'm down here in the Japanese family section actually not far from where Hirokazu Sawamura the pitcher for the Boston Red Sox was sat last night cheering on this team from Japan and I got to speak with Sawamura through a translator. He was in awe of not just the facilities here in Williamsport but the experience that the kids were getting. Now you really want to talk about some awe. Let's talk about what happened then last night at the big league game over at Harmon Field. The whole team from Takarasuka Little League got to go down on the field. They got a picture and an autograph from Sawamura. They even got to talk some baseball. He showed them uh, some of the details of a split finger fastball. Let's see if we see any of that today from the Japanese pitchers. But the key report, because I got to talk to the kids just about an hour ago, was they were incredibly impressed with not just how big Sawamura was, but how good he smelled. Guys, those are the details that matter here to the Little Leaguers. <laughs> That's a thing, Todd, in the big leagues. Like, the cologne oh my God. is a game. We had guys that I played with that would spray probably 15 to 20 from top to bottom. I said, listen, you're playing short. I'm at third. Bees are around here. I don't want any bucks coming my way. But at the end of the day, that's their thing. They got to look good, got to smell good, got to play good. Speaking of split finger fastballs, here at Kazu Sawamura, a couple of weeks ago, he threw a 96 mile an hour split. Unfair. That's sick. Is that that doesn't make any sense anymore. These guys are unbelievable. That's why I'm up here right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Levy Madrigal, I don't know if he's going to throw splitters today, but he's been good for Nicaragua. Remember, he was the starting pitcher in yesterday's start to this game, the first couple of innings. He gave up a leadoff double, and since then he has retired six in a row, including a couple of strikeouts the last time he was on the mound in the second. Nicknamed the monkey, man. Let's see what he's got today with that loose arm. Here we go. An elimination game continues in Williamsport. The winner will play tomorrow. The loser will head home and head to school. Yuya Yadagino, the left fielder, rather the right fielder, he bats here in the third. Ball and a strike against Madrigal. One thing to think about here, guys, after a big day of rain, the grass is going to be a little slick today, so any ground ball you're going to have to get to real quick, and the outfield's going to have to work their butt off to cut the ball off in the gap for sure. You're like our head groundskeeper. <laughs> you know, I've been there before. I understand. So anything that hits that grass, you watch that thing skip, could decide a game today. And Nicaragua's assistant coach, Sergio Manfoot, he was, uh, he was hitting some BBs during infield outfield. That he was. Madrigal with a strikeout of Yanagino. So three of the last four that Madrigal has faced have gone down via the punch out. Good start there by Madrigal. Understanding we got four, what do we got, four innings left. Let's find a way to get this first batter out, get the energy back on their side. He now faces Koshi Misawa, the left fielder for Japan. He got asked before coming here, what's the highlight of his summer been? He said, I haven't hit a home run yet, but I was extremely happy to hit a double, which is close <laughs> to a home run. Hey, gap to gap baseball, that's what it's all about at the end of the day. And then maybe you might run into one. You never know with the speed of most of these pitchers. He's behind in the count, nothing in two. And it's fouled off to stay alive. So again, this Nicaragua team has played a couple of games so far. They played on day one on Wednesday last week, a 2-0 loss to Curacao, but got a great pitching performance from Luis Garcia. 
And then Saturday, they stayed alive with a 3-1 win over Puerto Rico and got another excellent starting pitching performance from Derek Alonzo. Pitching seems like the, the motto here at the Little League World Series. Remember when I played, I think I topped out at 65. That's pretty fast. Not anymore. Struck well right center field, and Saravia cannot get there. He plays that slick surface well and holds Koshi Misawa to a one-out single. Hey, here's the slate. Coming up today, a half dozen games, including this one that started yesterday. Four straight over on ESPN, beginning with the local team from less than two hours away. Holidaysburg, Pennsylvania against Massapequa, New York. That's a team you got to know a little bit. Yes, I did. They can hit. They got good pitching. They ran into a juggernaut in Hawaii there, but they were just fine. to be a battle today. We were talking to one of the starting pitchers in that game yesterday at the big league game Red Sox Orioles and you asked him how hard he throws he said 69 <laughs> it's much faster than what I did so any, anything above, above 65 I probably had trouble hit back to the top of Japan's lineup for Jin Takimoto who doubled to right center field yesterday to begin this game. So he likes to sleep when he's not playing sports. Who doesn't? Struck well, Saravi is under it, and he puts it away for out number two. So Japan down a run in the third, and out of the two spot in its lineup for the shortstop, Kaito Ota. Breaking ball misses from Levy Madrigal. You can see right now Madrigal starting off one, two, three batters here with a little off speed, trying to get him to reach out and swing a one, but it's too smart right now. Ota seeing pitches. What type of pitcher gave you the most trouble? Was it guys who, who would work backwards? Without a doubt, without a doubt. We talked about this today, how. I was a fastball hitter at the end of the day and if you're throwing me more off speed you know hopefully my barrel ran into the ball there and drove one in the gap but there weren't many fastballs that got by me. We were having breakfast with Tim Kirchin and he was sharing with me a story that you guys both remember shows up at Yankee Stadium it's two o'clock it's a seven o'clock first pitch and you've got the pitching machine at a hundred. And just trying to make sure you weren't going to be late on any fastballs. <laughs> Without a doubt, when you're facing guys like Araldis Chapman, day in and day out, you better be ready for that 100 mile now fastball with movement. That's a fastball, and that's a strike to Kaito Ota. Yeah, this is a big part of the game here. It's a third inning. We're almost halfway through. Top of the lineup up. He's got a 3-1 count here. You got to get a pitch and drive. That's lifted down the right field line. Diego Gonzalez comes in and it drops foul. Little Bermuda Triangle over there. Maybe lay out one of those things. Just lay out and let that the water glide you out of that foul territory. Would have been a nice catch, but a tough play overall. Three, two. I mean, how about all the foul territory here at Volunteer Stadium? Yeah, you miss a ball here. Kids are going to be on their horses here running around these bases. Payoff pitch, hammered in the air, left field, Japan leads. Ota finally got a pitch where he wanted it. Little up and in fastball, got the foot down. Left no doubt on that one. Beautiful swing by the young man there. Getting Japan going here in the third inning. Boom. Eyes to the ball. You teach that at a young age. You hear the noise. That's the difference when you hit. The noise when it comes off the bat. Excitement all around in Japan. Get that fist up and show the world, kid. The excitement and emotion from mom in the stands overcome immediately. 
as Kaito Ota with his first hit here in Williamsport. It's a big one. Two out, nobody on for Japan's three hitter, Yo Ayabe, and he crowds one past the dive of Luis Garcia in the center. And Ayabe is aboard with a two out knock. As you see in baseball, kids coming up on the excitement. It takes one swing. That's all it takes. And next thing you know, Japan, they're off to the races here. Now they're getting pitches to hit. Now they're driving the ball. Last game they played, they didn't put up any runs. And next thing you know, boom, here we go. Japan's back at it again. Third hit for Ayabe here at the Little League World Series. And now Sosuke Tomimoto goes first pitch swinging. He rockets one to left, and it's three straight hits and four in the inning for Japan coming out of the suspended game. Yeah, why not? Get the strike, get the fastball, see the ball, drive it. And now they got two runners on. And the excitement continues here for Japan. Marlon Chavez. Manager for Nicaragua will make a move. He'll go to Johan Saravia, who already pitched over the weekend against Puerto Rico, closing out that win. He enters in a big spot in this elimination game here in Williamsport at the Little League World Series. A bullet to left field from Kaito Ota. Two run shot for Japan. Their first runs here at the Little League World Series. He jumped on this backup breaking ball. And Mom absolutely loves it. Trying to will it over the wall. This is what it's all about. Love ever look at her. Emotion as we talk about something she'll never forget. And he will definitely never forget. And still two on for Japan with the two outs. So Nicaragua makes a move, as we told you, to Johan Sarabia, who finished off the game on Saturday. Got the final two outs, both strikeouts, quick work, eight pitches. And he said after the game that he, he thought he was going to get the start yesterday. He didn't. He comes on in relief here with his team down a run. Yeah, you never know. Coaches, we talk about last night, you never know what they're thinking. Trying to get by a couple innings here, but. At the end of the day, it's win or go home, so you got to bring in your best you got right now. Think about all the scheming that these coaches have done all summer, trying to <laughs> press the right buttons. 2-1 pitch to oh! Takto Suchia, the catcher. As you can see, a little harder fastball here, especially from the left side. You don't see many kids throwing this hard from the left side at this age. It's a different angle. Time to make the adjustment. 2 2. And on the hands. Yeah, lefty bringing that velo inside like that. It's not fair. <laughs> 2 2. Play. Ayabe at second, Tomimoto at first. And this is pulled into left field of a set. Ayabe gets waved around third, and Japan leads by two. Got him at third. This run scores. This run 
The run scores no matter what. We'll see if Japan reviews this as Sosuke Tomimoto tried to take the extra bag on the throw to the plate. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one here. You want to get the third base, you know, a little adage, never make the first or third out of third. He might have gotten his foot under there, but we're going to double check that. I think they're going to review it. Beautiful piece of hitting, though. Got an off-speed pitch, drove it to left. Got another insurance run out there. Yep, big old breaking ball. Man, these kids have beautiful swings here at the Little League World Series. Perfect drive in the left. Little overthrow here, but the catcher, Chavez, didn't waste any time throwing it to third, and we're going to get a review. Hard to tell from that angle. Or maybe not. What do you think? From that angle, I think he's out. If that right foot came over, it was a tough slide. He kind of slid the right way, but he couldn't get that right foot over to sneak it in there. The left foot got caught. Let's see here. Coming through. Ah, oh, it's bang, bang. That's a tough one. If we could slow that down just. If he extended that left foot, I would have had him safe, but I'm going to have to say he's out there. And at the least, it would seem that'll be tough to overturn. And as we as a society have come to learn when it comes to video review, you need indisputable video evidence. Three words we live by. Safe. Wow. What do I know? I've never played this game before. They know best. Good call there. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose there. And uh, I think that conversation is something like, yeah, had it all the way. Exactly. Exactly. If you are new to the Little League World Series, in the six innings regulation length, each manager gets two challenges. And if you're successful, you keep it. Also, umpires at any point can deem to review something on their own. So the inning continues for Japan in the restart of this game that began yesterday. And it's a three spot for this team from Takarazuka. Yujiro Kume, the second baseman. 2 0 from Johan Saravia. Don't you like being up in the booth where you have to give an answer on every <laughs> review? I do. I thought I was doing well. You just never know in this game. That's why. It's a beautiful thing to have a review. Three and them. Oh. is stomping on his landing spot. Three and oh. Four pitch walk. Kume is on. And the bases are loaded for Japan. Yeah, this right now, he needs to regroup just a little bit. Understand how good of a pitcher he is. Get out there. No harm has been done yet. I know the three runs have come in. But with the runners on base now, one out of way, getting out of the inning, getting back into that dugout, trying to get a couple runs back. We got a pitch hitter here for Japan. It's Yota Morikawa. He's one of the very good pitchers on this team as well. He's a big fan of Justin Verlander. But he bats here in a big spot with Japan trying to extend its two run lead. Another guy who says when he's not playing sports, he likes to sleep. I love that. With three kids, you got to get your rest in. And he's got none, but hey, do what you got to do. Games are long for these young men. One of your three had you pin trading all week. Big time. Big time. He's got me locked and loaded in it, too. <laughs> you don't meet a new person without saying you got a pin. Exactly. <laughs> oh, two. And that is strike three called. So Johan Saravia leaves him loaded and gets Nicaragua off the field. But Japan takes the lead. Three runs. Managua and Nicaragua is down by two in the bottom of the third, and let's meet the team from Nicaragua.
Mi nombre es Josué Vendaño y mi jugador favorito es Derek Jeter. Mi nombre es Eric Alberto González Pavón y mi animal favorito es el león. Mi nombre es Ronnie Artola Orozco y mi jugador favorito es Javier Valle. Mi nombre es Javier Alonso Hernández Soto y mi muelle favorito es el de la lengua de fuera. Mi nombre es Levi Madrigal y mi clase favorita es lengua y literatura. Mi nombre es Joan René Sarabi Urbina y mi jugador favorito es Juan Soto. Mi nombre es Luis Leonida García Tero y mi jugador favorito es Aaron Josh. Mi nombre es Diego Alexander González y mi animal favorito es León. Mi nombre es Gabriel Gutiérrez y mi jugador favorito es Javier Valls. Mi nombre es Brandon Jiménez y mi artista favorito es Bad Bunny. Mi nombre es Luis Humberto Bravo Escorcio y mi jugador favorito es Aaron Josh. Mi nombre es Marlon Chávez y mi muelle favorito es El Enamorado. Mi nombre es Gonzalo Hernán López Morales y mi jugador favorito es José Berri. Mi nombre es Derek Alonso y mi jugador favorito es Muki Bet. The Latin America champions, they represent that region from Nicaragua. They've got work to do in this elimination game. We'll file this as well under things you would not see in Major League Baseball. Two innings of work for Jin Takimoto as the starting pitcher yesterday. Right back out there less than 24 hours later. Here we go. Same thing happened with Nicaragua. Get your, get your pitcher out there, see what he can do. And what Takimoto did yesterday was give up a couple of two out doubles to the two best Nicaraguan hitters back to back in the first inning. And then after that, and set down four in a row. Struck out two in the second before that game went into the weather delay. Faces Levy Madrigal. He just saw him the bump, and then he shifted out to right field. See if Big Levy could come up here, pick his team up, find a way to fire up the Nicaraguan team here. 3 1 pitch. Curls to the outside part of the plate, full count. Payoff pitch. Bouncing ball to third, and Ayabe throws out Madrigal, and there's one away. The excitement continues for Japan. The fans are very excited. I tell you what, when you get kick started here down and not having any runs in the first game and then coming out with a bang with a home run, it's go time now for Japan. Get back to the top of the order here. Maybe powered by their conversation with Hirokazu Sawamura, the, the picture on the field over at where the big league game was played last night, as Sebastian told you off the top, over at Bowman Field before Red Sox and Orioles. Johan Saravia, leadoff man in Nicaragua's lineup. He lined back to Takimoto his first time yesterday on a hot shot that Takimoto snared. Much to the delight of Xander Bogarts, who was with us in the booth at the time. Web gems all over the place this week for these kids. Xander Bogarts also got a kick out of Sawamura hanging out in the seats of this ballpark yesterday <laughs> without his Red Sox jersey on. Ig incognito, baby. But again, the hair and the scent apparently make him quite noticeable. Ground down to Yujiro Kume, and there's two down. Yeah, point out right there. That was a 3 0 pitch. You can see the coaching staff a little frustrated. Got to find a way to get on base there. I know that's a mistake he's not going to make again. Find a way, especially as a leadoff hitter. Hey, that's baseball, though. Things do happen. Back at it again. You were part of watching. Your nephew's run here to the Little League World Series last year. Just just being around it, like, at this level, how do coaches handle 3-0? Well, most of the time they're taken, for sure. Unless you got your big bopper up with bases loaded and say, you know what, we need a big home run here. But, yes, they are not swinging 3-0. I'm coaching my kid, he swings 3-0. I'm not going to be happy either. <laughs> <laughs> Comes at 0-2 to Gabriel Gutierrez. It's outside. 
Is there a, an international like take side at, at that level, or is it pretty interesting? Uh, yeah, I, I don't mind what it. I just tell them. I put my finger up. I don't care who's looking. <laughs> you take that pitch. Gutierrez strikes out, and Jin Takimoto showing no ill effects of the layoff from yesterday. One, two, three in the third. Williamsport, Pennsylvania is the center of the world. Goodbye. That's it, it's all over. As Tom's River shortstop Todd Frazier goes, so goes his team. Which is a great team. We just came out here to have fun, and uh, we won. Thank God for that. Here is Todd Frazier. Hit deep for Frazier to left field. He's done it again. Now he can close it down. Down, it's over. Tom's River, New Jersey. Todd Frazier, a hero all week long. Four for four, winning pitcher, uh, Little League World Series champion. <laughs> you said it, man. Um, watching that brings back some really good memories. I don't know why I talk like that. I guess I'm still <laughs> going through puberty a little bit, but it was a phenomenal team. It was a phenomenal year. We had a great time and um, kickstarted my career. Now look where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, uh, who would have thought that, that we'd be up here, a uh, couple of guys <laughs> wearing makeup and, and doing honey before this games great. to try this to stay is great, fresh. Man. Exciting to be around here again. Love coming back to Williamsport and enjoying wonderful baseball. Good game going here between Japan and Nicaragua. And a base hit starts this fourth inning for Japan. Leading by two, that's Halu Kuninitsu. So you and many others have gone from the Little League World Series to have great Major League Baseball careers. Jason Veritek was with us yesterday. Now you were a Little League World Series champion, and uh, you had some fun with him. He was just a United States champion in 84. Yeah, I got one over on him, man. I told him yesterday, listen, I love you to death. I loved you as a ball player, but I got that World Series, man. He's like, we started laughing. Gary Sheffield is a beast. Love him. Cody Ballinger, what can you say about him? Cool, calm, collective. He enjoys life, man. Love him to death. Oh, we get a pitching change for Nicaragua. They're going to go to Luis Garcia, their stud, who's going to face Luzo Nakazono, who will bat for this Japanese team against Garcia. And he is a fan favorite already. Nakazono is the shortest player here at the Little League World Series. You see at four foot six. 82 pounds. He's the youngest player on the team, and he's the only player from a lower grade, but that did not stop him from grabbing everyone's hearts the other day in Japan's opener on Friday. Coaching first base, and he had a knock as well. Love every second about this young man coming out here. Look at the bat. It looks bigger than him. Enjoying a wonderful time. I remember in 98 when I played, we had a four foot eight young man named Joey Franceschini. Good Irish name, right? Yes. <laughs> Big Joe, my second baseman. He could field with the best, and we called him Hoover as well, man. Hey, love to see these young men get out here and get after. It. Go ahead, big guy. Let's go down to Sebastian Salazar. Guys, I was talking to one of the coaches, Go Kunimitsu, about our big time number one here. And he was, as soon as I asked, I said, you know, tell me a little bit about Ryuso. He looked at me, got this kind of smile on his face, and said, he's a naughty boy. I said, what do you mean by that? Well, <laughs> apparently, um, in Japan, the hierarchy of age is very important. So if you're the youngest guy on the team, you're supposed to be kind of quiet. Ryuzo is definitely not that. He's always needling the older guys, trying to get one over on him. Uh, and how about this nugget? He actually uses the heaviest bat on the team. It, it may well weigh more than he does. That's phenomenal. <laughs> It's smart too. If you square the ball up with the biggest bat, next thing you know, you're gonna pop one out there. Kunimitsu moves up 60 feet for Japan. I mean, look at the aluminum that he is wielding there. <laughs> he might fall over with a bat that big. And you saw him stroke that single to left on Friday against Canada. Good take, two and two. <laughs> that ball's way up there. He, he's gonna have to jump to hit that one. If in fact he does go after it. 
facing the dangerous Luis Garcia. 2-2. Two -two. Garcia, the ace who started in the first game for Nicaragua on Wednesday against Curacao. And all he did was go five and two thirds, 10 punches in that game, gave up just two runs. Yeah, Nicaragua's all the stops got to come out here. You got to get your best guys out there. I think they're going to ride him, ride this wave here throughout the throughout the game. Get your best pitcher out there and try and dominate so you guys can figure out a way to get a couple more runs. Nakazono stays alive. No fear. This man's got no fear. I love every second about him. God, this is what Little League's all about. He says his superstition is throw away all the evil thoughts. He strikes out against the gas from Garcia, and there's one away. Now it's interesting with Luis Garcia. He was not eligible to pitch yesterday, but because this game got suspended before the top of the third inning, he got another day of rest, satisfied his rest requirement after pitching, like we said, at Nicaragua's opener on day one of this event on Wednesday, so he can go today in this elimination game. Yes, he can. Smooth. I love the way he pitches. It kind of reminds me a little Pedro Martinez as slow pace, drops that left leg down. You can see here the first pitch he started on the inside part of the rubber, now the second pitch starting on the outside part of the rubber. So he. One thing he's trying to figure out a little bit where to his comfort zone where to step where to stand. Little things about pitching you know what I'm coming too far inside on one pitch. Let me go back over on the other side and try and figure this thing out. 2 and 0 on Jin Takimoto. How in tune with that as a hitter in the box would you be where a guy is set up on the rubber. Yeah I, I was big time on anything any little detail I could find. That I could pick up where his release point was. You know whether you could see the waggle on his finger if his finger was outside of his glove if his glove was moved there was a lot of good guys out there that could pick up on that. I love the Pedro comp and what's fun watching Luis Garcia and seeing him the other day he will change the timing of his delivery and how long he holds that front left leg. Yeah, and at 12 years old, I don't know if I can comprehend all that. I'd be worried about throwing strikes all the time. Topping out at 65. It's a walk to Takimoto and a couple of Japanese base runners in the fourth. Hey, coming in 2023, the Little League Diamond Leader Training Program provides an immersive experience to equip coaches and volunteers with the tools needed to provide an impactful and enjoyable experience to all Little Leaguers. Learn more at littleleague.org slash Diamond leader. What'd you throw for off speed stuff back then, if anything? Uh, I had a slider. Not very good. Had a change up. Was okay. I was the number th I was the number three uh three pitcher on the team. I was I was the defender. I was that short. And I was the guy that they said, you know what? You play the defense. If we need you, we'll call on you. And most of the time they needed me for like an inning or two, but I got two wins at the Little League World Series, surprisingly. I had to start game two because we played extra innings in the first game. I think it was 11 innings. I think we had the record. The, for the first game went The 11. first game, we broke the record for the longest wow. game ever in 98. And then they said, you know, Todd, you got to pitch for us. And I ended up getting a win. We won 5 2. Boom. Felt like a rock star, gave up a home run, didn't cry. Didn't cry. I remember like it was yesterday. I didn't cry. Did you usually cry after giving up a home I, you run? Know, I had tears coming. I was pissed, you know. <laughs> but, you know, we won the game. That's all that matters. Kaito Ota, the batter, he had the two run home run to left his last time. It was neat talking to Jason Varitek yesterday. He told us he, he really hadn't played infield at all before that year of baseball when he came here in 1984. And he was the shortstop in that game. I tell you what, what he did there and then become a catcher, I, I, I should have told him he picked the wrong, 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 wrong job choice as a baseball player. I tell everybody, oh man, I, I got to be the catcher, they say. I said, well, you picked it. It's not my fault at the end of the day. He also told us when you asked about being a switch hitter that 
<laughs> it was a foul ball that like went off his finger as a right hand hitter that made him think I got to start hitting lefty. Exactly. Exactly. That was strike three called on Kaito Ota. He uh, he, he couldn't realize that was strike three called. He punches out and there's two away. Yeah, that's a nice pitch there by Luis Garcia. Little breaking ball. It's kind of like a knuckle curve. Pretty nasty there. Beautiful frame job there by Chavez. Out number two. Veritek S with the presentation as catchers call it. Veritek had that monster catcher's glove, if you remember. Yes. I, I was going to ask him about it, but we had to go to break. But it seemed like he would get that call in the outer half not just because the glove was that much bigger. This one kicks away, and both Japan runners move up 60 feet. Kunimitsu to third, and Takimoto to second. And here we go again now. This is a huge part of the game. Chavez got to be ready, got to be a wall back there no matter what. 1-1. One, one. Pitch that just misses to Yo Ayabe. Tell you what, he's throwing hard. I knew he threw hard the first game, but he's coming out here angrily saying, you know what? I'm going to throw as hard as I can, hit that strike zone, see what they can do with it. Gas again. 75 from Luis Garcia, the equivalent of 98 in the big leagues. Yeah, that's filthy. That is after I would stick with it here. Don't mess around. Don't give him a chance here to poke one out to left field. 2 2. All gas from Garcia. 75 again, blowing it by one of the best hitters. He said, you know what? Forget about the strike zone. I'm coming with the fire. Bringing it to you. I said, guess what? Let's go, boys. Firing the guys up from Nicaragua. Back at it. The international bracket here at the Little League World Series, where we started with 10 international teams. The winner's bracket has seen some impressive performances. Chinese Taipei nearly threw a no-hitter. Panama put up nine runs. Mexico with a convincing and well-rounded effort, led by Adonis Castillo and Miguel Padilla. And then the Canadians, they're 2-0. Jackson Mayervich has done it with the bat and on the bump. Finishing out games and those two winners bracket games in the quarterfinals over on ESPN later today here at Volunteer Stadium, 1 o'clock Eastern Time, Chinese Taipei and Panama, and then at 5, Canada and Mexico. I'm excited for that Taipei Panama game, baby. I'm ready to get that one going. Winners bracket game. Got another day off yesterday. The boys will be fired up to play. Another fun filled day coming up here in South Williamsport. There's Canada hanging out before they've got to play about six hours from now. This is an elimination game Japan and Nicaragua, who trails by two. Alongside Todd Frazier and with Sebastian Salazar, Mike Monaco with you, our entire crew behind the scenes. Three, four, and five for Nicaragua. Luis Garcia doubled yesterday, and he rolls this one to short, and Kaito Ota got it there in time. That's a beautiful play there, a nice backhand. The biggest key there is getting that right foot set, stomp it on the backside of the infield, fired over there with conviction. Nicaragua will challenge this. That's what you're talking about, planting, loading, and firing. Now, I'm not going to say much about this one. I'm over no, no, one you, right you now. have to give an answer. <laughs> I'll give you a couple more replays, but you have give to one. give an answer. All right. I will say this on air, as we are. That is 100% out on that play. 100%. And if I'm wrong on this one, I don't know what I'm I, I need to get my eyes checked there. Ball and glove. What a great play, man. That's what Japan's known for, their defense. Took his time, honestly. Got the ball, got in a good position, good foundation. 
fired it over there. Oda with another beautiful play. Now, if you get bored just saying safer out, we'll, we'll elevate to this eventually. But then you can say, all right, is it going to be confirmed or is it going to stand? Yeah. There's distinctions. Yeah, football's coming up too, so we'll see. Whatever, whatever word comes out here, it, I think I'm right this time. I'm with you. I think it's out. Thank you. Should be confirmed. You got two challenges. Might as well try it out, though. All right. Here we go. Frazier's back to 500, folks. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. The start of a burgeoning broadcast career. So on away and. We'll get a pinch hitter here in the cleanup spot in the lineup. Derek Alonso, who had an RBI double and is only at bat before the game got shortened due to weather yesterday or suspended. He gets hit for here, and this is Xavier Hernandez. Pulls you, back. You don't see that too often. Cleanup hitter being substituted, but hey, they know their team. See what happens. Hernandez had a single off the bench on Saturday against Puerto Rico. Stroked one into center field. Facing Jin Takimoto. Good breaking ball. Very nice. And it seems like they go to square the bunt like a true professional pitcher. It says, you know what, I'm just going to flip over my, my easy slider for a strike, knowing that you're probably not going to bunt. And then I'll throw my nasty one coming up after that and say, you know what, I got a couple of them here, so watch out. One, two. Just misses. So he flips the first one over for a strike easy one. Goes down and away for the second one, then goes inside on the third one here. What do you throw here? You come back with it? Try to chase a breaking ball away. Pretty good, right? Very nice. That's a phenomenal pitching performance right there. Hernandez strikes out. Reminder coming up eight minutes from now over on ESPN. Holidaysburg, Pennsylvania against Massapequa, New York. In an all-important game that was supposed to be played yesterday gets bumped to this morning. Part of six games. And yeah, you got to make your way out there and uh, lucky touch. Howard J. Lobbity. He's the one that built it. Got to give him some respect. I know he's watching for sure every year this time of the year. Luis Bravo is the batter now for Nicaragua. With just seven outs left to play with. Told you the story of Luis's father. The only parent of a Nicaraguan player who was able to travel here with the visas. And he's representing the parents of all this Nicaraguan team. And he said he's been like a reporter. He is sending all sorts of messages to the folks back home watching and a hello to them in Nicaragua. He's providing all the intel. Diving stab, Takimoto, and his throw pulls Tomimoto off the bag. And a great play over there by Kaito Ota. But an infield single for Bravo. That's awesome. Getting filmed right there by Dad. What a great play again. We talk about Ota laying out there. Oh, man, what a tough out. I think even with a strong throw, I think he beats that one out. But again, Proven the defense is worthy here at the Little League World Series. That's textbook at first base, too, right? Yeah, get off the bag. Because we talked about it before. If that ball gets by him, he might be on third base. But at least on second base, providing maybe a base hit here getting a run. Sosuke Tomimoto at first. Ronnie Artola is another pinch hitter for Nicaragua. Beautiful backdoor breaking ball. He's way up in that box. His foot is actually stepping out of the box. 
as a home plate umpire, it's tough to see there. That happened to me one time when I hit the home run in the World Series game. My foot might have been out of the box, but hey, I touched home plate, nobody said nothing. Next batter up. Artola fouls one off again. Been such a great outpouring of support from the Nicaraguan fans around the area, locals of Nicaraguan heritage. Let's go down to Sebastian. Yeah, guys, that was one of the kind of toughest things about the fact that this game got delayed. There was a huge expatriate community here from around Pennsylvania, Connecticut, people driving in from New York. One of the aunts of Gonzalo Lopez actually made the long drive in. But on Monday, everybody has to go back to work. So again, it's Luis Bravo here, the one dad in attendance, kind of leading the cheers for the Nicaraguans that are happy about this. His son takes a big turnaround second and slides in safely at third tumbling to the bag to put him at the corners with the tying run aboard for Nicaragua and a big old smile from Bravo. <laughs> I tell you what, that slide right there was unbelievable. Finding a way to get over there. The big man coming through. You see Takimoto going after that ball. You got to understand where your defensive position at a young age, it's tough to find. Ball ricochet just off his glove. And now the wheels are turning. And look at the big man go. Rumbling, stumbling. Relaxed there <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> I love it. What a great slide. We know we're not supposed to slide at first, but that was halfway. Look at him go. <laughs> he did a Rafael Devers over there. Just, just stays lying down. Take a breather. You deserve it, big man. Awesome. So Bravo at third, the base hit from the pinch hitter as well, Roddy Artola. And now a big old chance here for Nicaragua, facing elimination down by two in the last of the fourth inning. Brings up Eric Gonzalez. Had a single Saturday against Puerto Rico and swings through strike one. Yeah, I think an adjustment's been made here. They're all up, way up in the box. Understanding trying to get the spin on that breaking ball and seeing it up before it breaks down. Another one. Great look by our crew. Takimoto's 0 2. Runner from first starts off the bag. And now they've got Bravo hung up, and Takimoto throws him out. We'll see if this gets reviewed, but for now, Japan handled the first and third expertly. Yeah, that's a fundamentally sound play by Japan there. They are going to review. They were trying to steal a run there. Takimoto, smart, gets the ball, understands. Don't worry about the runner on first. Bravo comes off third a little bit, slides back in, called out. They're going to review that one. That's another close play. It's the Frazier rubber game of the three game series. You're one and one. Oh, man. These are hard ones here. I think he gets that foot in there, though, on first look. Right there. Yeah, I, you see the bag kind of go up as he hits it with his right foot. But also, does it come off afterwards while he's holding the tag? So there's a lot of things to look at here. I think the foot gets in there, but they got to follow it all the way through. Did he keep the tag? Did I even keep the tag over there at third base? Takimoto got it over to Ayabe. Oh, and the bag comes off. So they, yeah, once the base comes off, it's ruled you're a fine. dead ball. Yep. Yeah, you're fine after that. I think this one should be overturned. We'll see. Right foot to the bag. There. Yeah. Tag after. And he tags on the foot there, if not the, the mid part of the leg. Umpire was in the right position, but I think the bang bang play. We talk about confirmation, inclusive, all that kind of thing. It's got to be 100%. Yep. Call on the field was out at third. 
What's the art of a good tag? Well, you get your glove down before that foot gets in. So, <laughs> as you see, a lot of guys, they get the tag down quick, but it's mid-leg. Safe. A fist pop from Frazier in the booth. <laughs> and thanks upstairs from Luis Bravo. Now we will see if the energy focus is here. We got two strikes on the batter. Let's see if they try and do that steal again, go halfway. But Japan fundamentally sound. Let's let this young man hit. Two out, two on, two run game, the one two. Inside, the runner from first goes all the way through this time. And Ronnie Artola swipes second. Smart move there. Get the guy over. Now a little base hit. Mike driving two. Outfield playing in. Focus on getting that second runner out at home plate if there is a hit. 2-2. Two, two. On the ground, right side, and Tommy Moto backhands and ends the inning. With the defense behind him, Jin Takimoto leads two in scoring position. We go to the fifth, Japan by two. These are the good people who give their time and effort to turn Williamsport into a warm and welcoming home away from home for the players, their families, and the fans. The magic here just wouldn't happen without them. So rise to your feet and cheer for your favorite teams, but be sure to tip your cap to the volunteers at the Little League World Series. Yeah, the fine folks behind the scenes who make all of this possible year after year and now for the 75th year here at the Little League World Series. This is what it's about. These people coming here knowing this is their time of the year to help out, make sure everybody's happy and sound. It's a tough job at the end of the day. Listen, thousands of people travel from all over the world and they make everybody feel at home like they're one of them. Thank you to all of them for sure. When you were... 12 years old here, I mean, it must have been just an unimaginable first-class experience. Oh, without a doubt. We each get assigned, it's called an uncle, and they do our laundry, they make sure we're eating at the right time, they make sure we're at practice on the right time, and uh, I give plenty of thanks to those guys because that's a tough job, too, as well, taking care of 12, 12-year-olds 12 who are bouncing off the wall every day, just want to go down the hill or play ping-pong or whatever. Have we heard from any of the boys from, from Tom's River? Yeah, we got one. Joey Franceschini hit me. Oh, Hoover. Yes, Hoover's Hoover. watching. He is watching, so that's my man right there. The 98 champs. Fifth inning. Japan by two and a ground ball up the middle, and Sosuke Tanimoto with a base hit. Tomimoto's second knock of this game. He also singled back in the third. It's amazing to see these young men getting on fastballs over 70 miles an hour. I can say this every time. It's very hard to do. The timing's got to be perfect. Coming through there, getting the kick started here for Japan in fifth. Takto Tsuchiya now the batter. He had an RBI base knock his last time in the third. What made you so good against high velo? fastballs in general. Just one of those things where I always want to be out in front of fastballs, out in front. Bouncing ball, the short, nice pick. Gabriel Gutierrez, who will settle for one before Santomi Moto. Man, that's a big league play right there. Holy cow. Ball scorched off the bat. Gutierrez coming through. Now they teach us at a young age. Bring that glove through, of course. If you stay back on that ball, that will eat him up. First reaction as an infield when that ball goes in the air, go get it. To do or die play makes it look easy. That's a huge play in the game right there. So off to the side and almost like you're swiping your glove, like like almost like pushing a bowling motion kind. Yeah, 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 pushing it through. Um, what I do when I teach kids, especially my team, we do little drills, one hop drills, through the ball, staying through, keeping your palm up and your fingers down. Can we get a little, little demo up here, please? Yeah, so little one-hop drills. Try and keep this hand cocked as high as you can, pushing through the ball, keeping this for, uh, the palm up as you come through. Because if you keep it down here, it's either going to hit the top of the glove 
or you're not going to field it properly. Suchia moves up 60 feet for Japan. Drills that you need to go over and over and over and over. And that's what baseball is. Perfecting little things. So in the game, it's like a test. You study. You got to study over and over. And then next thing you know, in the game, it comes natural. Two and two on Yujiro Kume. He walked his last time, the second baseman for Japan. Luis Garcia deals. That comes inside, it deflects away. And Suchia will stay put. Big spot here for Garcia, trying to bear down. His 3-2, fouled off. Man, it's hard enough to deal with that velocity, but when you got a guy holding that leg longer and you don't know when your foot needs to go down as a hitter. You don't know when the timing's gonna be. He might hold it for a second longer. He might, a little quick pitch there, but smooth, and then he comes without it. But misses, and Kume walks for the second time in the last three innings. And Japan's got him at first and second. Let's go down to Sebastian. Guys, I don't know if you'll agree with this, but this just looks like a totally different Japanese team than the one we saw lose against Canada in their opener. I think it it just comes down to nerves. Remember, this Japanese team still doesn't have their manager, Sang Ho Lee, or one of their players, Cannon Suzuki, being held out because of COVID-19. And when I spoke with the acting manager, Keigo Kume, before the first game, he admitted he was nervous. And then after that game, both Japanese coaches Kume and Go Konimitsu admitted the whole team was nervous. They weren't their usual selves. And one thing they pointed out specifically was that the group was over swinging. They had to kind of get away from the U.S. style and get back to their style, where I think they focused that in today. And when I spoke to Kume before the game today, he said, we're all a little bit more relaxed. I think that's what we're seeing from this team from Japan at the plate. Yeah, and you can see that. It's, and it took, like I said before, one swing at the bat, waking them up a little bit and saying, you know what? This is a regular field. We've done this before. Let's enjoy the moment and do what we do, what we did, and what got us here. And that's hitting the ball hard, putting pressure on the other team. Nerves are out the door now. It's go time. It's elimination day. Let's have some fun. It's a new day. I know the sun's not out, but still, focus on what you can control. One-two pitch to Yoda Morikawa, and he grounds it past the first baseman, and everybody's safe. Morikawa is on, and they're loaded for Japan again. Yeah, that ball was hit hard to first. Alonzo, tough play for him over there. Like to see him just get his get his butt down just a little lower. See how his butt was high up in the air. Gets it down a little lower. He might knock that thing down to get the force out of first base. Again, when it's hit that hard, it's tough to react as quick as possible. Brings up Halu Kunimitsu. Inside. No advancement from any of the runners. Yeah, it is a team that, to this point, coming here to the Little League World Series in Japan, known for its hitting. The manager, Shang-Ho Lee, who we're sending our best to, as Sebastian mentioned, talked about how this is a hitting team, maybe different from other Japanese teams that have been here before. We heard Xander Bogarts talking yesterday about how he always thinks of them being so sound defensively. Well, this is a team built on its offensive identity. Without a doubt. And they're not the, the tallest team, as we've always said. You don't have to be tall to hit the ball far here. So that's what makes this game wonderful. And as you can see, these young men putting the bat on the ball. They, with the pitcher from Garcia, all you got to do is touch it. Yeah, the team motto is hit to win. And uh, Shang Ho Lee, by the way, he would know a little bit about a big offense. He says his favorite memory coaching Little League was nine years ago. He had an offense that hit seven consecutive home runs in a game. I, the old saying, defense wins championships. Not for this team, it's offense that wins the championships. That's phenomenal. Now it's a full count now, worked by Kudimitsu. 
With the bases loaded, one out in Japan, up two in this elimination game. Luis Garcia deals and misses. It walks in a run, and the lead is three for Japan. And as you see, as the team hits well, puts pressure on the defense and the pitching, pauses for balls and not strikes. Prompts a visit from the Nicaragua manager, Marlon Chavez. I think right now he's telling his guy, relax. We got the top of the order coming up here pretty soon. Enjoy it. You're our best guy, you're a pitcher, and have some fun. most lovable players at the Little League World Series will bat now with a chance to blow this thing open for the team from Takarazuka Japan. <laughs> Wouldn't it be wonderful to see him put one in play here again. Yeah, back in the box. So, did you see a difference between two hitting styles? He's way back in the box and Nicaragua is way up in the box and we'll see. Yuto Nakazono bats here. Far reaches against Garcia. Nothing at two. It's kind of interesting to see here the infield too. You got short third and first back, but the second baseman or in and the second base playing back. With him throwing that hard, I think I would do kind of the opposite here, but we'll see if it bodes well. It's all velo from Luis Garcia. He strikes out Nakazono. Two gone. <laughs> Nakazono did not depart home plate before saluting, I believe, the umpire on his way back to the dugout. Respect, man. I love everything about that. They always come up here, every batter. See the young man. Thank you. Even though I struck out, still love you. Have a good day. Two down back to the top. Jin Takimoto takes strike one against Garcia. Yeah, Nicaragua right now has got to keep this within a three-run range. Dusty Baker always told me, man, keep it in either grand slam range or less. So now, as we talk about one swing in the back and get them back into this game. Man, it's got to be hard to deal with that sort of timing when the pitcher is going to actually release it. Yeah, and then he'll go quicker. And then, then when you're ahead of the batter, you can ease up a little bit, a little Johnny Cueto esque, even though he's not spinning around. Slow it down, focus on your breathing. An attack. Man. If I learned that at a young age, maybe I would have been a number one starter in high school. You could have been some. <laughs> in the air, center field. Saravia retreats. Inning over. Japan gets a run. Garcia leaves him loaded. Nicaragua bats in the bottom of the fifth, down by three after this. Between Texas and Hawaii, right here on ESPN2. Nicaragua down by three, batting in the fifth. Again, six inning games. Gonzalo Lopez, the pinch hitter. Hawaii has a ton of talent. One of their stars is Jaron Lancaster. And Buster only did an interview with Lancaster during the big league game last night. And Lancaster was talking about big leaguers asking him for his autograph. And he said it in three words, I was flabbergasted. <laughs> For him to even know what that means, that's pretty good by that young man, but he can play this game of baseball. He gets after it. He looks like a ball player, plays like a big leader. Lopez grounds out to Ayabe for the first down in the fifth. I keep hearing that Hawaii is as impressive as anyone here and, and maybe by uh, quite a margin. Yeah, when they took care of New York the other day, I was I thought it would be a little better ball game, but at the end of the day, those guys came to play lead off home run and they didn't look back after that. They always come to play Hawaii, man. They got gracious players. They're very thankful. 
and very blessed as well. They hit four jacks and threw a five inning no hitter. Not bad. <laughs> Easy day at the, at the ballpark for that team. Brandon Jimenez pinch hits here for Nicaragua. Winner of this game plays tomorrow against whoever loses a game later today in the winner's bracket between Chinese Taipei and Panama. The Latin America champs, Managua, Nicaragua. Third time Nicaragua is here as a country, and for the first time at the Little League World Series since 1970. When Dennis Martinez, the greatest player from that country, he was only 16 years old at that time. Crazy, man. Let's go to Sebi. Guys, I was talking to the Nicaraguan manager, Marlon Chavez, and he was telling me just how big a deal this is back in Nicaragua. After their victory over Puerto Rico, which of course was historic, they got FaceTimes from the government's Minister of Sports. They got two FaceTime calls from professional players in the Nicaraguan Baseball League, really lifted the spirits of this team from Nicaragua. It's a country in a lot of turmoil right now, but he told me that this team is really starting to unite the country behind them. And he knows all of Nicaragua está encendida. They're lit up for today's game. That's great. Yeah, good baseball history there. Dennis Martinez, of course, El Presidente. Vicente Padilla, 14 years in the big leagues, former All-Star with the Phillies. Everett Cabrera, he was an All-Star in 13 as well. Johan Saravia rolls it to second. Nice job handling the hop by Yujiro Kume. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for Jin Takimoto as we go to the sixth in Williamsburg. Series presented by T-Mobile on to the sixth inning in this elimination game between Japan and Nicaragua that started yesterday when we played two full innings and out of the fourth inning of today's game the final frame with Japan up by three in large part thanks to this guy who you saw had that swing Kaito Ota yeah it was a beautiful piece of hitting like we talked about before kick-started this Japanese team to get him going in the right direction. And now, up three runs, one inning left. Anything can happen. But here's one of your better hitters trying to get him going there, get some insurance runs. Winner plays tomorrow. You saw against whoever loses the game between Chinese Taipei and Panama. With Sebastian Salazar, the former number three starting pitcher of Tom's River Little League, Todd Frazier, <laughs> Mike Monaco, our entire crew with you. And Luis Garcia's got a strikeout to start the sixth, and there's one away. Hey, Little League Sandlot Fun Days are player led unstructured opportunities for local Little League programs to provide a fun, relaxed activity for baseball and softball players. Where kids make the rules, they make the lineups, and they make the calls. Give them the bats, the balls, the field, and let them play. Learn more today at littleleague.org slash Sandlot Fun Days. Rio Ayabe is the batter here. Singled and scored in the third. He's had a great bat going. As you can see, Garcia again coming after him with the fastballs. Nothing really has changed for him. See this ball? If you can hit it, go right ahead. Starting pitching has been. Mighty impressive for Nicaragua here in now three games. But they've only put up the four runs offensively in three games. 74 up near your eyes. Still got it. Still got it after 56 pitches. Throwing fireballs out there saying, okay, this might be my last time out here. I'm coming with the heat. Coaches just raved about Luis Garcia. They said he's got every tool you would want in a kid this age. 
There's Curacao. They won yesterday to stay alive. Boy, what a ball game that was. Yeah, it was a huge diving play in center field to keep them from hold or hold them to one nothing lead and ultimately a one nothing victory. That was a phenomenal play, top ten play on ESPN. Was it? I think it was. Yeah, should have been. Probably was. Jathan Cordelia made that catch in center in the fifth inning, and it was so funny hearing Xander Bogart's perspective on it. Yep. He said they were locked into it, watching on the plane as the Red Sox flew in from Baltimore as Ayabe walks here with one out and right about the time they were landing was when Italy was threatening and there were two runners aboard at that point in the inning and the TV on the plane the signal went out and so they didn't know what happened in that inning and we filled them in that this kid made an incredible catch. Yeah they got to get better Wi Fi on those big league planes man what are they doing over there. They have everything else to Wi Fi. Come on, guys, what are we doing? Sosuke Tomimoto bats with one on, one out. You missed the charters? I mean, you're, you're probably Ooh. flying commercial. No, nah, they were the best. Depending on what team you were on, had some nice, luxurious seats and uh, playing cards in the back. It was, uh, that's some of the things you miss. So there's a hierarchy even within, within charter flights? Yeah, yeah, I would say so. So you got your veteran guys that stick together. You got your guys who like to sleep. You got your guys who like to play video games, play cards. And you got your staff in one section. You don't really go over there. You let them be. So. But are you saying also that, that some of the actual aircrafts like have better seats than oh, yeah. some others? Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt. You can clean the seat all the way back. If you want, not just a couple inches back. These ones go all the way back if you need them. Must be nice. Comes comes with the territory, man. Let's go. 162 games. You need to be relaxed. 2-2 two -two pitch from Garcia to Tomimoto. And he takes down full count. It's, a, it's crazy to see the difference. I, I've seen this a bunch of times playing. From the last night or yesterday with the rain, how energetic Nicaragua was, and then coming into today, the difference between, you know, one day to the next. You got to come to play every single day in this game, and you never know what's going to happen. And the focus has got to be there. No matter what the weather is, no matter what the story is, get out there. It doesn't matter who you're playing, good things will happen. It was a one nothing Nicaragua lead when this game went into a delay and ultimately got suspended yesterday after two innings. And then Japan came out today with three in the third. Inside great A.B. from Sosuke Tomimoto who's on for the third time in this game. Hey tonight Monday night week two preseason football features the Falcons and Jets. 8 Eastern 5 Pacific over on ESPN ESPN Deportes and the ESPN app Steve Levy Lewis Riddick Dan Orlovsky have the call Laura Rutledge on the field and our coverage starts at 7 Eastern 4 Pacific with a special edition of Monday Night Countdown. So it's back to back walks worked by Takarazuka Japan. And now the five hitter, the catcher, Takto Suchia. Two and oh. Already 20 pitches this inning with just the one out. This is more like the Japanese offense we heard all about coming here. That just misses. Three and zero. Oh. Yeah, he's throwing it. He's throwing it. Not getting the pitches that he's been getting. One of those tough outings, you know, kind of figuring out that zone again. Big cut from Suchia, who never gets cheated. Three zero swinging too. Second time we've seen that in the game. When you're up three runs, I say that's okay to do. When you're down, you got to find a way to get on base. But he did. He take a 
monster hack. We're going to probably see another one here. He was so fun to watch in their first game against Canada on Friday. Mighty cuts, and they were feeding him all breaking balls. Listen, it's one thing to take a mighty cut, but you got to be aggressive but subtle at the same time. Oh, great take from Suchia. Swing and 3 0, swing and 3 1, taking 3 2, and it loads him up with three straight walks from the Japanese offense. Yeah, that was a tough one there. I thought that was a pretty good pitch by the young man. He's been throwing well. You see the frustrating frustration kind of settling in a little bit. Looks like we might be going to another guy here. We swap sleeves, and Gabriel Gutierrez will enter for Nicaragua. Marlon Chavez makes the move. Japan leads by three and is in search of insurance here in the sixth. Little League would like to extend a special thank you to its official sponsors like Barilla Pasta and Sauces and T-Mobile, who helped to maintain the strength and leadership of the Little League program. And Little League would also like to thank its dedicated volunteers who make the program a special experience for millions of children. That includes the umpires, volunteers from around the world, and the very best who come here, they get chosen, and it's a once in a lifetime chance. Literally, you can come and do it one time and umpire at the Little League World Series. That's pretty cool. And out of the goodness of their heart, they come here and they'll have that on the resume for the rest of their lives. Gabriel Gutierrez takes over and faces Yujiro Kume, the second baseman who bats for Japan with the bases loaded and Japan up by three in this elimination game. The biggest thing here right now is to find a way to throw a strike, whether he puts it in play or not. You cannot walk another batter. There you go, one and one. Pretty much an auto take there, you know, an up three ones, trying to get a guy on base, focusing on getting under control in your swing. Easy take there. Gutierrez deals, and it's lined towards short, and caught by Garcia, and they double him off at first. <laughs> What a play, taking a little frustration out there. What a phenomenal play by him. Look at him strutting off. Said, forget about that. I'm going to back at the fifth. Little League World Series. It all started in 1947 here in Williamsport. Japan as a country, so much great history here. They've won the Little League World Series 11 times. They first got here in 1962. Looking for their first crown since 2017. Elimination game and they lead Nicaragua by three. They had the big third inning and they've received excellent starting pitching as well from Jin Takimoto who threw two innings to start this game yesterday. Comes out of the suspended game due to weather. Back on the bump this morning and he's been great Todd Frazier. Yeah he has. He came out strong. Develop, develop that off speed pitch right from the get go. As you see, another one here. Um, but yeah, he came out strong. He understood the assignment. He got after it, knowing what he was capable of doing. He's not overpowering batters, but he's throwing that off speed, different parts of the zone, up, down, in, and out. Kept the hitters off balance all day. He's begging for strikes. It's one and one. Uh, Nicaragua's pitcher, Gabriel Gutierrez. You said this going to break. Two, three, and four for Nicaragua now by three, facing elimination. Yeah, find a way to get on base. You don't need the big hit just yet. Figure out what you're capable of doing. Now he's got two strikes on him, but at the same time, he can still slap him. Put the ball in play. That's the biggest thing now. Find a way of putting the ball in play with two strikes. The 70th pitch of the game for Takimoto. A pie. And as you see, he's throwing that off-speed pitch again and again. Wouldn't, wouldn't mind him seeing throwing another one here. Here it comes. He does, and it's swung on and missed, but Gutierrez reaches. Yeah, that's, that's huge. Once they develop that in Little League of Passball, you can go to first base on a strike or a swinging strike. 
And this, all of a sudden, Nicaragua's got a guy on first base, is what we talked about. Find a way to get on base, one way or another. Fairly quick conversation at the mound after the leadoff base runner on the drop third strike after Takimoto's seventh strikeout. With Japan up by three. Luis Garcia swings at the first pitch and rolls it in the left. And it'll bring the tying run to the plate for Nicaragua with nobody out. Again, finding ways to get on base, hitting the ball hard. Singles work too, guys. Singles work too every day of the week. And another big bat coming in Alonzo here. Last chance, I just, uh, this is what baseball is all about, the excitement. You're never out until that last out. About 22 hours ago, Derek Alonzo, the cleanup man, faced Jin Takimoto and smacked an RBI double off the wall in center. Hasn't faced him yet today. First pitch swinging in the air to center. And this game is tied. Wow. The big man gets pinched hit for a couple innings ago and says, you know what? Never again. Come on, man. You can't write this up. The boys are going crazy. Nicaragua, wake up. Let's go. Three run homer. Take your helmet off. Take a bow. Everybody back home is going absolutely bonkers right now. Hugs everywhere. We got another ball game here, Mike. What a swing by the young man. Pretty much a similar swing as yesterday. Just got underneath this one. Look at him. Cannot stop hugging this man. They don't want baseball to end. Nobody here wants it to end. We got a battle here for the ages. Unreal from Derek Alonzo. Marlon Chavez swings through the first one from Takimoto with this game tied at four. And now. Dare I say they're one swing away from winning this game. Bottom of the sixth inning in an elimination game. And how quickly did that come together? There's nobody out, and they were down three. It's, <laughs> this is why this game is one of one. It all started with a drop three third strike. You can't script baseball, you'll never know. Marlon Chavez is trying to send one of the Poconos right now. <laughs> the enjoyment of baseball, single pass ball, boom, tie ball. 0 oh, 2. And a waste pitch. 1 and 2. A Nicaraguan offense that was shut out Wednesday, put up three runs on Saturday and had been held to one run in the first five plus innings today. And then on one swing, we're tied. I don't think Marlon Chavez will pinch him for my man again, Alonzo. He said, don't ever do that again. I'm going to show you why. He's got all the RBIs today. That guy needs to be leading off. A strikeout for Takimoto. Good response, and there's one down. Yeah, give credit to Takimoto, giving up a big three-run homer. He said, so what? I'm going to come back. Developed actually that fastball that time. A couple more off speed pitches and then struck him out with high cheese. 79 pitches for Jin Takimoto, who's approaching the end of his outing. Spread across two days, and look at his teammates picking him up in this moment after giving up the lead. That's pretty cool. After the big home run from Derek Alonzo. Tied this game. Ah, uh, stayed back beautiful too. Lift and separate, we say back at home. And he lifted, he separated, and said, bye bye baseball. Josue Avendano bats. 
with one out and no one on representing the winning run. Back up breaking ball two and oh. Now we get into the nitty gritty parts of the game here. Do we take a pitch. Are we swinging. Do we need to get a runner on of course. The chess match you play not only with the other team but the chess match you play with the team itself knowing your batter. Two and one. And I find it phenomenal seeing him throw a 2 0 slider as we talked about before. Get me over slider like it's like throwing a regular fastball to your dad in the backyard. Don't worry, I'll hit the glove. It's a beautiful thing by talking about. In the air, left center. And Morikawa is there for out number two. What percentage breaking ball do you think? Jin Takimoto has been in this game. I would say 70 to 75. <laughs> so. If not more. <clears throat> but listen, he's got a couple of them. That's the thing. They get me over the chase, the backup. I mean, maybe, maybe it's accidental, but he's making it look pretty good. Eric Gonzalez bats and takes strike one. How about the arm side run on that? There you go. We talk about that backup one. I think he was trying to go outside there. That was that that might be the first one that was accidental for sure. The last pitch that Takimoto will throw in this game gets a ground out to Ayabe at third. But we will play extras for the first time in the international bracket. The big man said don't pitch hit for me coach. Look what I do here going big fly to dead center. Babe Ruth the only one that lives out there but guess what the big man lives out there too. Alonzo doing his thing. Nicaragua wake up boys and girls we're here to play. Extra innings at the Little League Baseball World Series presented by T-Mobile after Nicaragua ties it and for more on their fan base here's Sebastian Salazar. Their fan base, Mike, is large. Now, not a lot of them are here. As we told you earlier, just Luis Bravo, the one dad who was able to make the trip. But all the parents are watching back on ESPN in Nicaragua. They are tuned to their televisions, and they are going wild right now. We told you because of visa issues, it was very difficult for these parents to make the trip, but they're following along. We told you about the reaction in this country after their big victory over Puerto Rico. Government officials, professional ball players FaceTiming into this team while they were here in Williamsport to congratulate them. All of Nicaragua tuning in to this team as they continue to play their way into the hearts of many here at the Little League World Series. Let's see if they can keep the magic from the bottom of the six going here as we head to extra innings. And a hello to all of them. We wish you were here, but glad to have you with us. Glad you're able to still watch your family members play an absolute thriller as we go to extra innings. An absolute gem. Baseball at its finest and at its highest level at 12 years old. They don't want to go home. Nobody does. Let's go. Seventh inning, Gabriel Gutierrez, the pitcher, and the batter for Japan, Yota Morikawa. Nothing in two from Gutierrez. Now we talked about energy and emotion. It shifted back over to Nicaraguan side. This is just it's it's a chess match. It's a battle of the finest teams in the world. Man, this is exciting. No two pitch. Morikawa bounces it left side. Nice pick by Eric Gonzalez. Exactly what you showed us earlier. Yep, come through the ball. You see that high hop. Really simple. Sometimes it's tough to do because sometimes as a young player you play back on the ball thinking you're going to get a better hop. But the big man Gonzalez comes through easy peasy. And flip it over there and as you come forward as we talk about it limits that throw for the distance as well. So lob it over get the guy out move on to the next play. So one away for. Yuya Yanagino his spot in the lineup. But instead. We'll have Halu Kunimitsu back. He had the bases loaded walked his last time. 
what we think about too as well the, the half inning before bases loaded one out line drive double play we forget about the little things in the game we, everybody always comes like oh you struck out at the end to lose the game well no actually there was five innings before that where we could have scored a couple more runs man there's a lot of things in these games you need to get as many runs as possible as we always say yeah, think about Japan offensively they left the bases loaded in the third they left two in the fourth left them loaded in the fifth and then had them loaded at the time of that double play in the sixth. got to find a way to get at least one more run in there but hey give credit to Nicaragua playing great defense getting guys out at the right time. This is your first full game that you've broadcast in person at a ballpark, right? I bring the magic, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Rain delays. Got Dude. beautiful weather, now the sun's out. That's the only good thing about me. I bring the fun to these things, though. It's been a great day. Fair ball. Fair ball past the dive of Gonzalez down the left field line for Kunimitsu. He's got a one out double for Japan. Nice piece of hitting there. 3 2 count. Not trying to do too much. A little inside out swing. And as a third baseman, look at that. Eyes to the ball. And as a third baseman, you never think that lefty's going to. Oh, reaction. Got to be ready at all times because the ball's coming to you. You always got to think and expect the ball, especially at third base. I think Gonzalez understands that. What a reaction from Cooney Mitsu. After the double puts the go ahead run aboard in extras for Takarazuka Japan. Oshimisawa did not square to bunt up there swinging. At this spot in the game. Third baseman Gonzalez is in. That's a strike nothing in two. Great start Gutierrez getting ahead of the batter. Focus on you know what got a double who cares get up there find a way to get one out whether he gets a third base or not. Oh two down low. The Japanese faithful into it for a game that restarted at 10 a.m. local time here in Williamsport. One two. Misawa strikes out. Great breaking ball right on right there from Gutierrez for out number two. Yeah he focused on hey got ahead of the batter. Let me flip up a little slider here. Get him out in front. God the tight spin these guys their sliders are tight spin. What we talked about yesterday we're looking for that dot. I didn't see any dot there so that's going to focus on the hitter understanding. Fastball fastball. Got to find a way to react to that off speed. Can't see dot tougher to know it's breaking. Right? Exactly. Jin Takimoto. The starting pitcher who will have to play elsewhere in the next half inning. He has reached the pitch limit. The leadoff man. One and one. See here, any single to the outfield is going to score him. The outfielders are playing really far back. I would try and move them up just a little bit so we can nail that runner out at home. But any hit to the outfield is going to be a run. Two one from Gabriel Gutierrez. And Takimoto hits it hard. Garcia backhands, throws a dart, and gets Nicaragua off the field. Wow. When he doesn't pitch, he can pick it to a shortstop. My man, Luis Garcia. Have a day these last two innings at shortstop. Caught a liner, backhand. Was there ever a doubt, Mike? No way. And fire it over there. One run away from one in this game. Here comes Nicaragua back to hit.
Third inning of this game, when this game restarted, Japan went to work. They've been down one nothing. Kaito Ota smacked a two-run home run to left to put the Japanese in front. But then in the sixth, Nicaragua down by three. Derek Alonso says no longer. Is there anything better than this right now? I gotta be honest with you. I came here to announce, but I'm a fan right now. I'm a fan of both teams, and they're both playing their hearts out, knowing this is the last time they're gonna be playing on this field. One team, and we love home runs. There's nothing better than hitting home runs. Ah, I'm excited to see what happens here in the bottom of the seventh inning here. Find a way, here we go, boys. Buckle up. And remember yesterday when this game started, Derek Alonso drove in Nicaragua's first run. So he has all four, as you saw, RBIs for the team from Managua, Nicaragua. And now they have another chance to walk it off here in the last of the seventh as Diego Gonzalez hits against Kaito Ota, who is the new pitcher for Japan, coming in from shortstop. He pitched on Friday as well in relief against Canada. And drops in the breaking ball. Nice, easy delivery, smooth as silk again. Can't get over these guys, man. Ota's 1-1 to Gonzalez. Beautiful breaking ball again. I mean, it's artistic, the wind-ups yeah. and the breaking pitches. Fastball fouled away. I love Sochia behind the plate. He's directing them. Throw that curveball down with force, with energy. He don't care who's watching. Two and two, tried another breaking ball. They call for the heat here on two two. Up foul. Tsuchi with some words there for Kaito Ota on another 2 2 pitch that strikes out Gonzalez but kicks away. And just like the bottom of the sixth inning started. Nicaragua on a drop third strike has the leadoff man on now in the seventh. Yeah, that's unfortunate right there. That was a beautiful pitch. Catchable ball. Sometimes the bat gets in front of the eyes there. So Chia focusing on catching that ball. Ah, just came up too short. It went right between the wickets too. The way the ball bounces in this game, you never know. And again, it's kick-started again. We might see a bunt situation here, almost at the top of the order here. Brandon Jimenez bats for the second time. Yep, he squares. He drops it down right on home play. The throw to second got him. Oh, what a dart by Suchia. Wow. First off, you don't see many bunts like that land on home point. That is, that is a weird thing about baseball to see. Got the bunt down. Nice slider there. Look at that thing. And actually, the bunt never hit the bat. Look at the land right on home plate. Big man comes up. God, that's going to be a close oh, play at second man. base as well. Tell you what, Mike. These four reviews right now, they couldn't be any closer to the naked eye here. Man, this is going to be a huge play for whoever gets this call, if it's overturned or not. And again, Man, in this beautiful evidence, we need it. Here comes catch. Out on, was he out on the field, right? Out on the field. Out on the field. God. Again, there is no such thing in the rule book as tie goes to the runner. Exactly. That's a myth. I learned that the hard way. Almost got thrown out of a game because of that one. But. These are youngsters here, man. What a great play. 
It's not how you what happens before, it's what will you do in the next outing. So Chia, very nice play, a firm throw. Again, we're gonna take a quick look. My goodness. He wishes cleats were a little longer. Right there, it's in the glove, but I mean the call on the field was out. I, I, don't, I don't know how you overturn it. The call, I think, stands. And I got to give credit to the camera people. Great camera angles on all of these. It's about whether they see if he was out or safe. And here we go. Our replay room as well. Yeah! Call stands. Takto Suchia, who had just had the drop third strike, put a man on. Doesn't mind. Delivers. A dart to second base and cuts down the lead runner. But as we say now, the top of the order is up. The best part of the lineup here. See how it goes. Johan Saravia bunts. Good one. Third base. Ayave to second, not in time. He got greedy, perhaps, and now there's two on with one out. Yeah, right there, you got to get that out there. Looks like he's coming up a little lame there at third base. First off, great punt. Gets it to the third baseman, makes him make a decision. you got to go to first base there and get the one out. No one will be two. Hope that young man's okay there at third base. Well, the thing about him going to first there, Saravia runs so well, I'm not sure there was someone covering the first base bag in time for Ayabe if he wanted to go to first. Very good call there, Mike. You're exactly right. What a great idea to bunt there. Kume was not there in time. He did. He made the right decision. But both runners are way too fast. And now, Nicaragua's. Coming up with Gutierrez, one of their better hitters. Yeah, that's effectively a one single from Saravia because he was going to be safe over at first out of throw gone there. Yeah, and it's a beautiful bunt too. As a lefty, your momentum, your momentum's taking you to first base and you're bunting the ball down the down the left field line or the left to the third baseman. Very hard to do. Ayabe is all right. Let's check this out again. And he looks toward first and pretty quickly knew he couldn't go and got rid of it as quickly as he could to second. Yeah, and that's a play you practice every day of the week. So he did. He took a quick glance to first, like every third baseman should, trying to get that force out. Said if nobody's there, I got to go quick to second base. Just unfortunate for Japan. Nobody was there covering the first base. Yeah, I said got greedy. I mean, I, I don't think he had another choice. And hopefully he's all right. And good to see he can stay in the game. One of the best players on Japan. So. As you said, Gabriel Gutierrez, the number two hitter for Nicaragua, who scored one of the runs last inning, part of Nicaragua tying this game at four. And now we play extras. Loser goes home, winner plays tomorrow. First pitch. And Gutierrez bunts and bunts it foul. You're going to see everything in these games. Your you're two batter who does have some pop. Understands he wants to get the guys in scoring position with the big boys coming up next. I'd like to see him drive the ball here, maybe a slash here. When you show it this early, he'll probably throw this one back and try and swing. Does pull back and takes ball one. Nicaragua trying to come back and stay alive. Big swing through the breaking ball from Kaito Ota. That's a huge swing right there. Yeah, his head was looking in the third base dugout as well. You don't need the big one, young man. Just find a way to put the ball in play. 
Ota is 1-2. On the ground, left side to short, and Takimoto gets one. They turn two! Wow. Again, textbook. Japan said, you know what? Who cares? Hit me the ball, and I'll make a nice, beautiful play. Great job by Japan. Hey, we're having fun here at Williamsport, boys and girls. Stay with us. We got a beautiful day. Welcome back to the Little League Baseball World Series presented by T-Mobile as we go to the eighth inning as the rain starts to fall right as Japan turned a whale of a double play 6-4-3 to get off the field and send us to the eighth. Yeah, first off, find a way to put the ball in play, as we say. Beautiful play, stayed low. As a shortstop, when you feel that ball, you do not want to come out of your position. Stayed low. Little sidearm swing there, perfect, perfect throw, and the easy turn, bang, bang at first. Look at this. Eyes, hands to the glove, to the ball, in the rain. God, we are seeing some unbelievable plays by both sides. Look at the umpire saying, God, everybody's into it here on, off the field. Rain's not gonna stop us here, so let's go. This gets interesting, I mean, it is coming down. A little bit. I wouldn't say it's cats and dogs, but coming down a bit. They're going to try to to play through this because remember this game started yesterday. In a delay, mind you, it got started late. It's supposed to get going at one. I don't know. We started maybe 1:30, 1:45. Who knows at this point? Stopped after two innings. Started today in the third. Supposed to have six games today, including this one here in Williamsport. And uh, yeah, we will play. Now the thing about the eighth inning is a runner gets placed on second base. Well they would in theory but right now they're going to pull the teams off the field and put the tarp on the field before the top of the eighth inning. All right so sit back and relax now. Still in store for an unbelievable finish here. Rain or not. Nobody wants to go home like. Marlon Chavez reacts there perhaps for all of us just wanting to finish this thing an elimination game the winner plays tomorrow against whoever loses later today between Chinese Taipei and Panama at the Little League World Series. Where we've had weather really for much of it so far. And uh, hopefully this one will be short lived. Uh, we'll, we'll put a quick bow on this before we get you to Sports Center. Todd Frazier, Mike Monica with you up here in the booth. And, and Todd, we talked about it. It's the first game you've been in person broadcasting for in your career. <laughs> it's been awesome. I'm sweating up here, man. This has been an unbelievable day. Thinking what's going to happen. One nothing game in the beginning. Japan comes out hot with the bats that we were trying to see from the get go. Said, you know what? I'm going to do what I have to do. And then Nicaragua comes up uh, down to their pretty much their last out. Big three run homer by the big man, Alonzo. And next thing you know, the wheels are turning. Now we go into eighth inning. We have seen some unbelievable defense, some unbelievable plays by these young kids at 12 years old. God, this has been such a wonderful day so far. Even though the rain's here, got to keep moving forward. Hopefully, this goes rather quickly so we can get back to this magical day. Well hold on a sec. Tarp is is going back to its its spot. Maybe they're just going to try to to tough this one out and, and let it come through. So what we see here been part of these before a little bit. You tarp you tarp the pitchers mount at home plate thinking that yeah we might only have a 10 to 15 minute rain delay here. It's not going to be much. It's not coming down really hard. It is raining, not coming down hard, but at the same time, not needed because the infield's going to hold withhold this as we're going forward. I promise, not every game you broadcast will be like this. Yeah, I can't wait to see what's going to happen next when we come back. <laughs> when was the last time you did a tarp? Last time I did it, oh man. Rutgers? I, I would say at Rutgers, yeah, college. 
Let's get Frazier out there. Uh, it's been a good one so far. Todd was telling you that Nicaragua jumped down to a one nothing lead yesterday in the bottom of the first inning. Again, the game got stopped after two, picked up today in the third. Japan came out swinging. Kaito Ota blasted a two run home run, his first hit here at the Little League World Series. Mom was emotional. Then in the sixth, the big swing from the big fella in the cleanup spot, Derek Alonso, who's driven in all four runs for Nicaragua in this game, and then some great defense late. Can't stop, won't stop both of these teams. Coming in here, pressure filled at the greatest stage and greatest place on earth to play this wonderful game of baseball. And God, man, I, I can't say it enough. I'm just so excited. My first game, the energy, the back and forth battle. And now we have a rain delay to kind of calm me down a little bit. So exude my focus on this eighth inning. And a runner out will be on second base. And it'll be exciting times for both these teams. But unfortunate, somebody's got to go home. And the tarp does end up round three on the field. <laughs> That's a misdirection. That's a tough one there. That's running the reverse. Well, we hope to get a whole lot of baseball in today at the Little League World Series. Again, this game started at 10 a.m. local time here in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, over up at Lamadee Stadium over on ESPN. Pennsylvania and New York started their game. That game was supposed to be played yesterday afternoon. And then the four games originally scheduled for today, we hope still to come, Chinese Taipei and Panama set for one o'clock Eastern over on ESPN followed by Tennessee and Indiana then Canada and Mexico and the nightcap Texas and Hawaii. Well we'll get you to Sports Center for the time being with Kelsey Riggs and Shea Cornette and we hope to get you back to Williamsport shortly. Jay Kelsey thank you very much welcome back to the Little League Baseball World Series presented by T-Mobile and uh, Great to see sunshine and blue skies for a game that 24 hours ago, almost to the minute, got started. It started behind schedule 24 hours later. We hope to finish this game in extra innings. Todd Frazier, Mike Monaco back with you. Sebastian Salazar with us as well. And, and Todd, this game, though spread across two days, has been a thriller. Yeah, two days. Hopefully this is the last day. We've come up and seen some really big time hitting here. Big man coming through with the first home run, first run scored for Japan, as my dad. Having a fine day, and then next thing you know, game was over, but wait, no, not anymore. The big man, Alonzo, coming through with a big three-run bomb to tie the game. The excitement at Nicaragua, it's going crazy back at home. It would seem they have the momentum in this elimination game on the international side of the Little League World Series pool. You check out where we are. Nicaragua already stayed alive by eliminating Puerto Rico. And now we'll see if it's Japan or Nicaragua who wins and advances to play tomorrow afternoon against whoever loses a winner's bracket game between Chinese Taipei and Panama. All part of a loaded day at the Little League World Series here today. We're including this one that started at 10 a.m. Eastern time here in Williamsport. Six games on the docket and 4-4 um, four, four is the score. And in the eighth inning at the Little League level, you start with a runner at second base. Six innings, regulation length. You play the seventh straight up. You play the eighth with a man aboard. And that's Jin Takimoto who made the last out for Japan. He was the starting pitcher in this game yesterday. Came back out today, pitched as long as he could before he hit the pitch limit of 85 so here we go extra innings the winner moves on the loser heads to school Gabriel Gutierrez was on the bump in relief earlier in his first pitch moves up Takimoto 60 feet and now 60 feet away from Japan surging in front yeah a little bit ago this happened to Japan as well Nicaragua got on base on two at bats both strike three pass balls and now the batter moves up one more base Put the ball in play here, you're most likely going to get a run. But we've seen some crazier things happen today, so you never know what will happen. Kaito Ota takes a strike. We showed you his home run back in the third inning. Two run shot to left that immediately sent his mother 
to tears. Gas from Gutierrez, one and two. And we've seen for the first time the sun is out today, so good things coming. The weather's looking pretty good right now. One, and two. one two count here. This is a big start here for Nicaragua if they can get out of there, get this guy out. Ota waits and cuts through the fastball. One away for Gutierrez. Yeah, we talked about this earlier. Fastballs, kids are throwing really fast. Little hezzy there. Nice little hezzy there. Gets him off balance. Finding ways. You got to get that foot down, put the ball in play, and make some magic happen. Brings up Yo Ayabe. A single and a walk in this game for Japan's number three hitter. And it's third baseman. This team from Takarazuka, Japan. A country that, of course, has so much great history here, but it's the first time this specific Little League has been here in Williamsport. And remember, we told you earlier that they had clinched the Japan Region Championship last year. So had there been international teams allowed last year, they would have been here last year, too. Side two and one, and no advancement from Takimoto at third. And you see nerves are out, especially in this eighth inning. Any little bounce, any little error, any little hit here, you're going to be a hero back at home, whether it's Japan or Nicaragua. Japan in 30 previous trips to the Little League World Series. Every time they've won at least one game. They've never come here and not won a game. The 2-1 in the air, foul, 2-2. Two two. Here we go. I, just, I don't know if, I, if I'm a parent right now. I, I know they're cheering over there, Japan, but the nerves got to be at a sky high. 2-2. Two, two. In the air to right, it sends Gonzalez back, and it's off the wall. Takimoto scores and Japan leads here in the eighth inning. Ayabe with two strikes. Gets a pitch to drive. Doesn't do too much again. Touch it with the barrel of the bat. Good things will happen. A big time hit on a slider nonetheless. We talked about this all the time. Guys throw hard to make that slider look even faster. Did not speed his bat up, and again, here we go. Japan, get that fist in the air, big fella, and go to work. Yo Ayabe with four hits now in Japan's two games here at the Little League World Series. Remember, this is a Japan team playing without its manager, Sangho Lee, and one of its players, Kanan Suzuki, because they tested positive for COVID. So shorthanded and we know they are watching and they have watched japan take the lead here in extras and now ryuzo nakazono will be the special pinch runner for ayabe hey. and the cleanup man sosuke tomimoto bats first pitch swinging for a guy who's had a great day at the dish a single in the third a single in the fifth and a walk his last time in a sixth inning in which Japan had the bases loaded one out and lined so sharply into a double play. A one line foul nothing in two. Yeah as you've seen today the top batters for both teams coming up clutch. But it's a matter of who's going to find a way. Japan striking first. You see this at the major league level as well. When you put the automatic runner on, you expect that you're going to get something out of it. It's just a matter of then how many runs. Yeah, and you expect small ball. But Japan said, you know what? We're about hitting, man. Let's go out there and crush. We got the big dogs. 0 oh, 2. And a strikeout for Gutierrez. Two Ks in the inning. Throw it out a second. Checks on Nakazono. That is big for Gabriel Gutierrez to navigate the cleanup man. Yeah, and that's a tough pitch right there as a hitter. It's a curveball or slider, breaking ball, whatever. 
you want to call it, but it never came down. You're expecting that one to come down, especially in a good pot in the back to drive the ball, and that's a good pitch there by my man Gutierrez. Brings up Takto Suchia, the catcher in the five spot. He's got an RBI base hit back in the third. He's shown a big bat here in two games as well. Opposite field double Friday against Canada. 2-0. And, oh. and Takto says, yeah, that was up. <laughs> I love it. Kids are having so much fun. Very theatrical that young man is, and that's what we love about this sport. The kids will let you know, of course. To the backstop, Nakazoto to third. The throw does not get him. Aggressive read by Nakazoto. And we know once you slide and the base comes off, it's a dead ball. The kid's automatically safe at third base. What a nice throw there by Chavez. Just in time getting there at third base. And three balls and no strikes saw Tsuchiya. On the ground, back up the middle in the center field. Nakazono scores, and now it's a two-run Japan lead in the eighth. Three-zero swing, and that's the second time that's happened today. That's a good call by Japan. Knowing your hitter, say, guess what? If you're going to give me a fastball to hit, oh, big man, Gutierrez reaching out trying to get that ball. Take care of your fingers, young man. Anything to get that last out. Yujiro Kume. Now bats for Japan. We've seen a lot of 3-0 green lights. It's remarkable. Analytic side of baseball, I guess. Oh. Nicaragua, by the way, in the bottom of the eighth inning, will have Gutierrez in second. One one. Then have three, four, and five. So if you're Japan, you want to pile on. Without a doubt. Two and one. Hit hard past the dive in the right center field. Tsuchiya motors to third. The throw to second. Gets him. Kume tried to stretch it, and a great throw in center from Johan Saravia. Wow. First off, goes to the gap, bare hands the ball, fires it to second base, knowing that lead runner is going to make it to third. Just in time to get him at second base. And I think we got another review coming. I wouldn't expect anything else. What a beautiful throw by the young man there. We know he came in to pitch earlier. He's got a cannon of an arm in center field. Great piece of hitting there. Give me that bare hand. Oh. Let it loose. Oh, I think he did. I think he slid, got stuck there in the dirt. We're going to have to take another extra look at that one. With Japan challenging this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What'd you say? Well, come on. I mean, this, <laughs> I, can we count this in Frazier's tally? I don't know. No, I think we're going to have to count them all. Because this is number five, I think, right? Five or four or five? I, yeah. I might have forgot one, but I thought this would move you to three and one. Yeah, and I think his foot blocked the bag there, too, as well. So I'm going to go in. What an outfield assist from Johan Saravia in a major spot. Win or go home. Nicaragua will bat, but now they trail. Japan takes the lead with two in the eighth inning. And Nicaragua facing Kaito Ota. He came on last inning. Levy Madrigal, by the way, he's the pinch runner at second. Garcia fouls it off. He is a dangerous bat who has two hits in this game. I think the biggest thing here for Nicaragua is to understand at second base, the runner needs to understand he doesn't mean anything right now. So don't force something at third base that you don't have to, especially ground ball to short at third. 
One one pitch. Hammer to left on a line and that'll get to the wall. Madrigal scores and it's a one run game on the Garcia double. Well, there takes care of that. Runner on second base, you don't have to worry about a thing if you hit it that hard. And hit it in the gap. Great piece of hit. You saw on the pitch before, he tried going big fly there. Got a hanging breaking ball. Oh, a little up. Got underneath just enough. Level swing. Man, they don't stop Nicaragua here, and we have something going. Shake it out, young fella at second base, and here comes the big dog for Nicaragua. Derek Alonso, who tied the game with a three-run shot in the sixth. Luis Garcia, by the way, three for four, two doubles, and he ended the sixth and seventh innings defensively with elite defensive plays at shortstop. Kaito Ota with a 1-0. Good breaking ball. We've seen a steady stream of them from Japan pitching. Yeah, and I think he's going to see a lot of those. There's a base open at first base. You don't always want to put the winning run at first, but with the way he's been swinging, you never know. 1-1. One, one. Another one. Another, Stick with it, right? Another great pitch there by Ota. I think you have to. If you throw a fastball, you don't want the runner to get the third base. Here comes a steady diet of him, of course. Ota's 1-2. Got him to chase, but it goes to the backstop. Garcia the third, Alonso reaches. And now the winning run is on for Nicaragua with nobody out. Wow. Again, that's the third time now. Drop three, strike. Strike three, batter gets the first base because of a wild pitch or a drop third strike. Winning runs now on third. Time, or not first, time run on third. Infield's playing in here. Kaito Ota trying to navigate this trouble. Marlon Chavez, the batter. Fastball misses. Alonso takes off, and now the winning run is at second base. Great call there by Marlon Chavez. Get the guy to second base. If they throw it, then you might have an opportunity to score to run easy, especially with the infield playing in. what they're going to check I believe so if the runner left early from first oh no they're going to put him on and load up the bases here with nobody out and get the force anywhere yeah this is a simple one here I, I actually like this call just because of a wild throw it's a force out any ball hit in the infield you have an easy out at home all he has to do is step on the plate exciting times here at Howard at, at South Williamsport Volunteer Stadium, man. And it brings up Josue Avendano. Four foot nine, 79 pound, 11 year old from Managua, Nicaragua. Now we talk about speed on the bases here. We got my man Alonzo in second. Not the fleece of foot. But to understand the situation now, base hit, you can come up firing at home here. Kaito Ota's first pitch is ball one to Avendano. Let's take a look at the big picture. Outfield playing in. Great call. Anything over your head, it's going to be game over. So that's a great call by Coach now. 1-0. Bends down and away, 2-0. On Avendano. And that's the toughest part. You have that off-speed pitch you've been throwing all day. But guess what? Base is loaded now. A little pressure situation. Trying to tinker with it a little bit. Got to hit your spots. Avendano squares, pulls back, takes strike one. That's that auto take right there, Little League. Trying to fool him with the fake bunt. Now what you're going to do with one strike, big fella. Nicaragua here is a country for the first time since 1970. In the air, left center field. On the move, Ichi makes the catch. His throw does not get him, and this game is tied as Garcia scores on a sack fly. Good piece of hit. Simple. That's baseball 101 right there. Get a pitch up. Drive it as far as you can. One run scores. 
Pressure still back on Japan. You got a runner in scoring position. Got to be a tough. Now, Tsuchiya has got to be a, a wall again. As we say back there, we cannot let that guy get to third base. And if you're Nicaragua, you're finding holes here. Any way to find a win. Smart throw in center, by the way, as well, to keep it first and second. Without a doubt. Eric Gonzalez, the batter. One away, strike one. Remember, Japan turned a great double play to end the bottom of the seventh before the delay, 6-4-3. Ota's one pitch is grounded back up the middle. Oh. Diving stab! Oh, what a play! Jin Takimoto! We have seen it all today. Game saving diving play. You gotta go out for your squad. My goodness. This young man has put on a display today. To his left, he can get it. To his right, he can get it. God gets the force out at second base. A hard hit ball. Full extension. Man alive. He knows what's on line here. Look at that. My goodness. And remembers, God get the guy out at second base easy. Wow. We were just talking about this young man. We talk about defense wins championships too. And here we are again, first and third. What an exciting game here, guys. Six fantastic defensive plays combined by both teams the last three innings of this game. If, if that's what's happening earlier today, I can't wait to see what happens the rest of the day here in Williamsport. Diego Gonzalez takes strike one. And Eric Gonzalez moves up to second. Insignificant, though, with Alonso over at third. And they say that Eric Gonzalez left early. The ball has to reach the batter before you can leave the base. The runner gets returned without, without penalty if there's no play on the runner. Kaito Ota's 0-1. Swing and a miss, nothing at two. Gonzalez takes off again, and Japan is content to give him the bag. Two on, two out, tied in extras. 0-2, oh, struck him out! We go to the ninth. Tighten that seatbelt a little more. Here we go, boys and girls. After Japan gets two, Nicaragua comes back. Two big hicks. Takimoto, unbelievable play at shortstop. Man, full extension. And then Oda coming back again with the strikeout, doing what he does best with the fastball. We're going to the ninth, boys and girls. To the top of the ninth inning we go in a game that was supposed to be over yesterday, in a game that was supposed to be six innings at the Little League Baseball World Series. We welcome you back, and the defense on both sides, Todd Frazier, has been elite, and Japan doing the little things there despite giving up two. Yeah, without a doubt. They get the sack fly here, but understanding you're not gonna get the guy out at home. Comes up throwing, hit your cutoff, man. He's right there, perfect. Conclude the run, concede the run, I should say. And then an unbelievable play at shortstop. My goodness. It wouldn't have happened if he wasn't set. So getting ready, getting set for that play. You're not getting the ball by him at shortstop. Just not gonna happen today. Oh, man, I can't wait to see what happens next. <laughs> Yujiro Kume is the automatic rudder at second. Yoda Morikawa, the batter, drives the first pitch to center at Johan Saravia and a loud first out. And Luis Garcia is checking everything as he gets that throw from center. That's a big one there. No out. You're... I'm going to go back to Kume here. That's one thing right there. He might have, he should have tagged up on that, to be honest with you. I know he has a great arm and Sarave, but at the end of the day, you tag up there, get the third base, and the sack fly will help you. That might come back to haunt him here this inning, but we'll see. Halu Kunimitsu, the batter. And so you're testing Saravia's arm even after he made that throw at the end of the last inning. The only reason I'm testing, he wasn't behind that ball. He backpedaled. That's a really tough throw to get the runner out of third base, and he definitely has speed at second base. A strike on the outside part of the plate. Great location from Gabriel Gutierrez. 
Again, the winner will play tomorrow. The loser heads home in this elimination game at the 75th Little League World Series. 0-2. There have been three different weather delays or interruptions in this game. We started late yesterday. We got stopped after two and then a delay today. And a strikeout for Gutierrez for the second out. Beautiful fastball there, just humped up to speed. Now two outs, Japan's sitting back, waiting for another big hitter, big opportunity to score a run. Yuzo Nakazono, youngest player on the team and the shortest player here in Williamsport Bats. Had a hit the other day. Coaching staff says he hits for a high average. Staring down to Gabriel Gutierrez. Fouled off sharply. He's got the swing, you see it. He's got all the fundamentals right there. It's about timing, as we said. Gets that bear out a little more. You'll see a nice little pop here, maybe to right field, right center. There's a big gap in right center here for the young man. He got asked what he was most looking forward to at this tournament. He said, getting a hit in front of a big crowd. Well, the stage couldn't be bigger. Yes. This is what you dream of as a hitter. Getting up with a big opportunity to help your team out. Not only your team, your country. In the ninth inning, man, it's second, two outs. The one-two. Struck him out! Gutierrez bounces off the field. And Nicaragua with another chance to walk it off as we go to the bottom of the ninth inning in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. We welcome you back to the Little League Baseball World Series presented by T-Mobile to the bottom of the ninth inning and Nicaragua battling Japan and a country in Nicaragua that hadn't been here to Williamsport since 1970. It's only their third time ever at the Little League World Series. They're facing elimination just as they were three innings ago, down three runs, when Derek Alonso tied this game with one swing, and now can they stay alive here? It's only fitting. We just had a major league game last night, nine innings. Why wouldn't we play a full nine innings, if not more? So these boys want to be major leaguers. Let's see what they got in a full nine inning game. All right, strategy becomes paramount over these last two innings when you've had the automatic runner aboard. Diego Gonzalez runs in second. Brandon Jimenez bats. His last time up, he bunted, and Japan defended it perfectly. Kaito Ota, the pitcher. Jimenez squares, bunts it again. It's a good one on the line, and it stays fair. Why wouldn't it? He takes off for second and moves up. Winning run at third. Wow. Unfortunate for Japan. That ball stayed on the line. Couldn't ask for a better bunt there. Oh, my goodness. We've seen some crazy things happen in this game. Beautiful bunt. Get the bat head out there. Catch it nice and easily. No jabbing with the bat. Always taught. But bunt, look, run. He punted, he looked. And he sure did run. Beautiful. They will intentionally walk Nicaragua leadoff man Johan Saravia to load the bases. And once again, Japan will play for the force anywhere. This time, though, in a tie game. Let's see if the defense can step up again here. Gabriel Gutierrez, the batter. First pitch. Good stop by Suchia. Ota's 1 0. Is a strike at the knees. A 
Gabriel Gutierrez waits on the 1 1 pitch. Big breaking ball. I know we had that double last time. We don't need that. They don't need that big double right now. They just need a base hit. And the country in Nicaragua will go absolutely berserk. 1 2. Bounced off himself. Foul. This game dripping with tension for more than 24 hours, and especially these last four innings. One two pitch. Struck him out. Kaito Ota fired up again. He's had a couple of big K's these last two innings. That's using the fastball there. He's been dominant with that slider and said, guess what? Fourteen fastball in the outer half on the black. Paid it for a huge out for Japan. But now he will face Nicaragua's superstar, Luis Garcia, who's three for four with two doubles in this game. First pitch. Bouncing ball to third. They come to the plate for one, and that's all they get. Two down, Garcia retired. Takto Suchia looked at third. Might have had a chance if he wanted to get aggressive at first. See, I love that. Catchers back in the day, I had a catcher. Devin Mazzarocco always wanted to go to third base after that. I think they did have an opportunity at first base because it was hit so far hard. Shortstop couldn't get over in time. Takimoto, that's a tough play for him. He goes to first there. We, we might see a double play again, but here comes their best hitter of the day right now. You can tell that's how they coached it up, though. Everything was lined up for that at third. Here's Derek Alonso. First pitch swinging on the ground to Ayame to the bag, and we go 10 innings. I cannot believe it. Another slider. Beautiful pitch by Ota. He is doing it up. Great defense by Japan. We got one more. Let's go. Two innings in a row. Japan has faced bases loaded. Nobody out. They gave up just one run in the eighth, and they give up nothing, Todd Frazier, in the ninth on that. I, I, I'm just in awe. The defense of both teams, especially Japan, Intentionally walking one batter. Next step bat, Oda coming through, getting the big strikeout. Then roll over ground ball to third base. Gets the force at home. Probably could have went to first to get the double play, but didn't. And then gets the best hitter of the day up, Alonzo. Roll the ball over to third. Go ahead, just touch the base. Stomp on it. And they live to see another inning, as we're seeing right now. First time we've gone to the 10th inning in a game at the Little League World Series since 2018. And only the sixth game to go into the 10th since 2001. Leadoff man for Japan, Jin Takimoto, with the runner at second base, Koshi Misawa. Again, we start placing the automatic runner there in the eighth. Gabriel Gutierrez deals, and it's fouled off nothing at two. And again, Gutierrez coming up here. Got to get ahead of the batter, as he does. Focus on getting one out in this inning, and they're focused on getting that runner over at third base. You don't see Japan button right now. It's, it's amazing. A leadoff guy, maybe try to get him over, but they said, you know what, let's just get our, let's take our chances, try and get him over with a knock, too, as well. Boy, great stab back there by Marlon Chavez. Towards short, just out of the reach of Garcia in the left center. They give a stop sign to Misawa at third on a bullet by Jin Takimoto, and Japan's got him at the quarters. Just in time, their top hitter's coming through. Great piece of hit by Takimoto. Squares that ball up just out of the reach of Garcia. And now, oh, baby. Get up, young man. Good try. 
And here we go again. Japan. Let's see if the defense can come up big for Nicaragua again. The batter is Kaito Ota, who got out of that danger on the mound last half inning. He hit the two-run home run in the third, but since then, he has struck out three times. One of their best players. First pitch. Ball one just misses. Think here from Nicaragua. <clears throat> understand the situation here. If you give up this run, make sure that runner on first, they don't get two more runs out of it because this situation where they do put the ball in play very well, got to get that force out at second base. Two-zero pitch, up high, three and zero, with the dangerous Ayabe looming on deck. Do they swing here or what? I think yeah. I think yeah. I think that's what Japan does. We'll see. It's a four-pitch walk to load the bases with. Stop us if you've heard this before. Nobody out. If you're taking a late lunch or something, and you flipped on the game, you see top 10 in, in yellow font on the scoreboard there, top left of your screen. Yes, you read that correctly at the Little League World Series. You'd think it's a malfunction, but no. These guys have come to play today. Man, we've seen this situation so many times. You feel like, ah, oh, here comes another hit and then out. Then another hit and another out. That's why you play this game. Finish. You always have to finish a game in baseball. It's one of the best sports in the world. There's no clock. No situation it says, all right, well, time's up. No. Play this game to the fullest. And after a visit from his manager, Marlon Chavez, Gabriel Gutierrez goes back to work against Rio Ayabe. Two hits in this game. First pitch swinging after a four pitch walk. Look at Gonzalez over there at third base. He doesn't have to play that far in. He can move back a little bit, still get the runner home out, out at home. He got a big hitter up now. He's got four hits and a couple of walks in two games here in Williamsport. That just misses one and one. Well, that's a nice pitch there by Gutierrez. Didn't get the call. But if he's living there, he'll be just fine. 1-1. One, one. Cuts outside, 2-1. and one. Takarazuka, Japan. Managua, Nicaragua. 2-1. Cut on and miss, 2-2. Two two. That's a great pitch right there, especially he's on top of the plate. If you could come back and throw that same pitch, it's going to be very hard to hit if your timing's not right. Two-two. Did it again. One away. And he elevated it a little bit, which is even harder to hit. Huge strikeout there for Nicaragua. Gutierrez, man. When the time comes where to turn on the Jets and get going, nerves build up. Not here. Not now. Huge out for one of their better hitters. Now Sosuke Tomimoto, the cleanup man. First pitch swinging on the ground to second. They get one. Garcia's throw in time for two. I'm lost. I'm lost for words right now. This has been an unbelievable game. Fundamentally sound. Tom Amansky would be proud right now with all the things going on right now. These boys are doing it. I couldn't ask for a better first game. Let's keep this thing rolling into the bottom of the inning. And here they go, baby. Have some fun. Extra innings. Back to back to back. <laughs> Perfect. What could possibly happen next in this game? Literally cannot answer that question. I, I just. I'm in awe of how fundamentally sound these kids are. 
They come to play. They understand the situations. And the plays they are making, you don't see at a big league level. Just gorgeous double play to end that inning with bases loaded, nobody out. You, you think you've seen it all in this game, and then boom, something else happens. Well, now we'll get a new Japanese pitcher, Yoda Morikawa, comes in from center field, toes the slab. And uh, the last couple of innings for Nicaragua, they've had bases loaded, nobody out, and little to show for it. And Chinese Taipei is saying, guys, can we get on the field? <laughs> They've warmed up at least three times over there. We saw in the outfield bunker over there. Automatic runner at second base is Levy Madrigal. And Morikawa's first pitch to Marlon Chavez, the catcher, and the five hitter for Nicaragua is ball one. Bottom of the 10th inning. Elimination game. Winner plays tomorrow. Loser heads home. Another steady diet of sliders. All speed pitches. Move up in the box as you just saw the big man move. 1-1. One, one. Oh, man. Paging the ninja. Yeah, that was filthy. Kind of backed up on him, too. That makes it tougher. Coaching staff says that Morikawa goes just based on feel out there. He strikes out Chavez, one away. Pretty simple there. Besides the first pitch, good morning, good afternoon, good night. All with the off-speed pitches. The adjustment has to be made for Nicaragua, understand, and moving up in the box is one thing. Trying to drive the ball the other way is another. If you think opposite field, you'd be better off. Nice pitch there by Mori Carrot. I'll give him credit. He's got the first out. Brings up Josue Avendano. Strike one. Two seamer to the outside part of the plate. Overhead winds. Nothing at two. Yeah, Morikawa is kind of loads you to sleep with that overhand delivery. And it says, boom, hit me if you can. Here comes that slider. Most fun thing about Little League, he says, is when I'm pitching. His 0-2. Bouncing ball foul outside of third. We barely had time to exhale. No. The last few innings, there's just a, a jam immediately. Yeah, my voice is going. I'm... I need I need some more throat lozenges here, man, to keep up going. This thing's gonna go nonstop. I love it. In fairness, it was gone before you started yeah, yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. You weren't supposed to say that. <laughs> All good. All good. This is fun, man. We got a lot more games to go. Action pack day. Six pack of games today at the Little League World Series. 0-2. Tomadonio stays alive. If you're just joining us, again, this game started yesterday after waiting out a delay when the Red Sox and Orioles were in the seats watching them play the first two innings then bad weather restarted today 10 a.m. Eastern time and now in the 10th number off the end of the bat that stays foul we have seen at least three maybe four half innings that were bases loaded nobody out and a few of them at least two have been zero runs to come out of it. We've seen maybe 10 excellent defensive plays just in the last four or five innings. At least. And the ones I always think about, Takimoto with that diving play to save the game. Got a nice little battle going here. Seeing off-speed pitches, fastballs, fouling off the fastballs, fouling foul off the breaking balls. Beautiful back and forth battle fouled off the last four pitches here Morikawa is 2 outside good take from Josue Avendano yeah and the more pitches he sees the better off he's going to be Avendando having himself a nice little battle here for the first ball one two bouncing ball Foul up the line, and we will see a ninth pitch of the plate appearance. 
Yeah, right now we don't have to worry about pitch count just yet for Japan. He's got plenty to go, but Osue trying to be suave. Takarazuka, Japan. Managua, Nicaragua. One, two. Pull to left, down the line, foul. Yeah, he's finding it a little bit here. Now he's out in front of that slider. Do you come back with that fastball? Even though he's fouled a couple off, he's got the right mindset. Foul that fastball off going to the right side. Yep, got out in front of the slider. <laughs> he's looking up to the sky and saying, come on, baby. Fall for me one time. I want to be the hero today, he's saying. Longest at bat we have seen in the international bracket. The one, two. Flared behind the mound towards short. Takimoto slings it over there and gets the out. Madrigal the third, two away. I'll tell you what, right there, the English, I call it, or the spin on that ball, that could have gone any which way. Takimoto gloves it. First thing you got to do is use those eyes. Watch his eyes go to the ball. Boom. Squeeze it. Then throw. Lovely play by the young man. After 10 pitches, now Eric Gonzalez takes strike one with the winning run over at third base. Yoda Morikawa is 0-1. Good breaking ball, nothing at two. Here we go again. Been down this road before. Morikawa delivers. Doesn't tempt Eric Gonzalez with another breaking ball. You can see the footwork there from Gonzalez as a hitter. He wants to go get it, but understands, I know my zone. I'll relax and go get him right here. One two pitch. Good block back there by Takto Suchia. Huge. Absolute huge. We've seen a bunch of those balls go by him. You don't, I don't feel a mistake here is not gonna happen. He's gonna have to get a hit here. I feel like these guys are playing out of their shoes right now. Two two. Is strike three call. Can we raise you 11? We will raise you 11, and we are going into the 11. The excitement continues. Let's keep on rolling, baby. The defense, you said it. It's been incredible just the last few innings. Oh, without a doubt. As you can see from both sides of the team, line out. Beautiful play by the young man Garcia there, firing the guy out at first. That's a huge play for Clement in no runs. And then Takimoto, shortstop with a beautiful double play. Limited damage, as we said. Then a sack fly. Make sure the runner doesn't get to third base. Hit your cutoff, man. Simple play, but very hard to do. And then Takimoto with the dive. Saves the game. Game saving play. And then a nice double play by Nicaragua there to get the 4 6 3, making it look rather easy. This crowd is getting excited. More people are coming in. I don't know if this one's going to end here anytime soon. Top 11. You go back to 2001 at the Little League World Series. This is only the fifth game to go 11. And nothing has gone further than 11 innings since then. Here we go. I got a feeling we might go 12 here. You never know. Takto Suchia, the batter, takes a strike, and it's nothing at two from Gabriel Gutierrez. With the runner, Nakazono, the automatic man in second to begin this inning. Sixty-five pitches for Gutierrez. Tried to spin a slider. Yeah, these kids, everybody's thinking about, are they tired? These kids aren't tired. This is Little League Baseball, they're 12. They play baseball all day in the backyards growing up. In the schoolyard, wherever they're at, they'll play all day. This one kicks away and Nakazono moves up 60 feet. Representing the go-ahead run. Another huge play there. 
tough slider, bouncing way in front of the plate, way off the plate. Runner moves up, but we've been down this this dog and pony ride before here. Will they get this runner in? 2-2 Two -two pitch, struck him out. Gutierrez doing yeoman's work, and there's one away. The only good thing about it, you, you did get the runner to third base, okay? But with less than two outs, you got to find a way to put that ball in play. Gutierrez still bringing the heat. Still got a little left in the tank, man. I know he's running low. Brings up one of the more patient hitters for Japan, Yujiro Kume. He's walked twice in this game. He also singled his last time in the eighth inning was thrown out at second on a great play by Nicaragua's center fielder Johan Saravia. Now think it too. Beautiful pitch in there. I know he's on top of the plate right now but he's finding that outside corner maybe a little bit off to get him to chase. Here comes again another 0-2 pitch ahead of the count. Gutierrez maybe just pausing to catch a breath up there in his delivery. He pauses, and then Kume pauses as well. He's got that nice little leg kick going. Oh, man, this is it's such a beautiful thing to watch here as each of them come together, looking back in the outfield and going. In the air, left field well struck. Gonzalez makes the catch. Nakazono tags, and Japan leads. Textbook. Kume getting a fastball to hit, even though he had two strikes. Crowding the plate a little bit, saying, you know what, you want to come in? I'll drive on the opposite way, get the sack fly, get the little man in there, and Japan back up one run. Good piece of hit, not doing too much at all. Yuto Ichi now bats with two outs and a rarity here in extra innings. Nobody on. Takarazuka, Japan. Country with so much history here in Williamsport. Well struck. Center field at the wall. It's caught by Johan Saravia. All right, so Japan puts one on the board. Can they finish this off against Nicaragua? You dream growing up as a kid that you could play here in Williamsport, Pennsylvania at the Little League World Series. I don't know if you ever imagined playing a game quite like this. And Todd Frazier, you were here. You won this whole thing. This is bananas. Absolutely. I'm looking on the scoreboard. I see 16 innings up there. It could go. But no, we're in, we're in the 11th inning here, so the excitement continues. Little League Baseball. Diego Gonzalez leads off for Nicaragua down a run in the last of the 11th after Japan just scored its automatic runner by manufacturing. Eric Gonzalez runs it second. Diego Gonzalez squared and now squares again. Comes up empty one and one. Yeah, as a, if you're going to bunt this ball, you want to show it a little earlier. I know they're coming in hard. You can always slash as a hitter. You're always taught. You want to get the bunt down if nobody's through the middle. Hit a 20 hopper through the middle, and next you know what happens. He squares, and it's foul, and now it's one and two. Yeah, Gonzalez right there. He's jabbing at the ball. He's not catching it and letting that barrel be caught at the same time to put the ball in play. So with two strikes here, yeah, I, I don't know what they're going to do, but at the same time, I feel like he, he should be swinging here. Against Yoda Morikawa who strikes him out. He was swinging, and there's one down, and Japan is two outs away from staying alive. Yeah, he pulled the string right there. That was such a beautiful change-up, split change. I know in Japan they're known for that, especially playing the Olympics. That's all they threw me. It's a devastating pitch, but a beautiful pitch by Morikawa right there. Remember what Sebastian Salazar told us off the top two. Red Sox reliever Hirokazu Sawamura, who's from this area, was showing them his splitter grip yesterday. 
That dips low. Ball one to Brandon Jimenez, who has already dropped down two pretty good bunts, including a bunt single his last time. The 1-0 pitch. He's taking, not squaring yet, 2-0. Yeah, he's, he's the first hitter right now in the last couple innings who looks calm at the plate, not trying to do too much, not trying to drive the ball to park, which I know he can. When you're calm, the good things will happen. What a cow was 2-0. This one kicks away. Gonzalez advances 60 feet, representing the tying run. Here we go again, 3-0 count. You got a good base runner up in Gonzalez. Or, or Madrigal, excuse me. Or Gonzalez. Gonzalez. And now, do you have him swing here? All right, the fake punt situation. There we go. Ball four. So now the lineup flips over, and Nicaragua's got the winning run. Excited to be on first base. And as we've seen before, he will go to second base. Jog there, good halfway, try and draw a throw. Does Japan try and get the guy out at second base maybe this time? Because no one, now run around third base, he's probably not going to try and go home. Why not try and get the guy out of second base if he does steal? I think you know? he got it. It's the winning run. Yeah, I think, I think you have to. Even if he does score, it's still a tie game, but you get an out at least at second base. But you get I, out number two, and the bases would be empty. Yeah, now. exactly. I don't think they take the chance going home here. Leadoff man, Johan Saravia. First pitch, swinging, a bullet to right, and this game is tied at seven. First to third, Jimenez slides in safely. In the bottom of the 11th. First off, look at the excitement from Saravia. Very nice. What a beautiful swing by the young man. Oh, that was down. Kind of scooped that jelly out of there, that's what I call it. Gets the barrel to the ball, nice drive. Gonzalez at uh, first base, didn't even hesitate. Now a sack fire pass ball, do it. Gabriel Gutierrez oh! takes strike one. They send Saravia, do not throw through with a winning run at third. Now do they send him to first base, get the force again? I don't see it this time. I don't think so. You do not want to face Luis Garcia on deck. 0-1. Oh. Bunted foul, nothing in two. Then maybe, do you risk walking Garcia to get to Alonso? I mean, who, who it's, it's a flip of a coin right is. there. You're three and four hitters. I mean, first things first, nothing at two here. And Japan has their top hitters coming up next inning as well. Morikawa deals, gets a ground ball to third, Ayabe, and they're loaded. That's a tough one. The situation says, look back to runner at third. But first off, you got to feel the ball first. Ayabe, nice try by the young man. When you bobble the ball, you look at third, you don't know where the ball is. you got to feel with your hand. Same time, no harm is done. But could have been that second out with runners in second and third. And here comes another big bobble. Three hits already for the three-hitter, Luis Garcia. Bases loaded, one out. First pitch swinging. Ayabe to the bag, to the plate. Nicaragua wins in 11 innings to stay alive. What a great game by both sides. They have nothing to hang their heads off. They did it. Unbelievable job. This goes down as one of the most historic games in all baseball history. And the respect they give to both and each other. Ayabe made a great play at third base. The decision to go to third rather than go home right away, that'll cost them. But at the same time, these 12 year olds did have one heck of a game both sides. And they're paying each other the respects. Hard hit ball to third base. He makes the play first thought you got to go home with that one. That's a tough decision. You go home first, and then worry about the runners after that. Tough way to end the ball game, but what a phenomenally game played by both sides. Hats off to Takarazuka Japan. They were playing shorthanded. 
without their manager and one of their teammates due to COVID positive tests. And how about Nicaragua? They've got one parent of all their players here with them because of the travel required to get from Managua, Nicaragua, 2,100 miles away. Luis Bravo is the only parent here. He says he's been like a reporter, filling in everyone back home on all the happenings, and we know they are watching, and they must be overjoyed as Nicaragua outlasts Japan in 11 to play tomorrow against whoever loses between Chinese Taipei and Panama, a game that is coming soon on this field. Chinese Taipei is already warming up. This is the winner's bracket here on the international side. Canada and Mexico will follow that one. Final score, 8, 7, and 11. We will not forget it. For Todd Frazier, Sebastian Salazar, and our entire crew, Mike Monaco saying thanks for joining us here in Williamsport at the Little League World Series.